Hello and welcome to LN Audiobooks. Please subscribe and leave your suggestions and favorite novels on this channel. Thank you so much, and please enjoy the light novel. Volume 3 of Wise Man's Grandchild. After the engagement party, Sicily and I returned to our individual rooms. I'm telling the truth. At her parents' house, and with her parents currently living under the same roof. I don't have the courage to do that kind of thing. Good morning, Shinkan. The next day, on the way to the dining room, I met up with Sicily. She greeted me with a somewhat different smile compared to yesterday. Good morning, Sicily. Also, today, you seem even more beautiful, Fufu. Thank you very much. Oh, Sicily didn't turn feverish. Sicily, you, Maria seemed to have sensed something. Ha huh? ha. Uh -uh. I didn't think that Sicily would the first one to climb the stairs of adulthood. Wah. What are you saying, Maria? It's exactly what it seems. Something probably happened between you and Shin, right? So something, you say. I thought that she wouldn't suddenly become Harris Curry, but as I expected, she did after all. Gus, who just entered, looked at what was happening with a smile before retorting. Shin. You, I feel repulsed looking at you. Those things aside, Anasama. Sicily San is acting strange. Ah, about that. Shin. What did you do? Wh what? you ask. Even though you're incompetent, your hands move quickly. What are you saying? Good grief. Gus let out a sigh, and he moved his mouth closer to my ear before muttering. Did you properly use contraception? Id you idiot. I didn't go to that extent. I see, so you have indeed planned to go that far. Blah. Planning. This bastard. As expected of the black-hearted prince. He had actually planned so far ahead to get a confession. No. It's because Shindono is easy to understand. Eh? Is that so? Ugh. Really? Shinkan. Ah. I'm sorry Sicily. I wonder if she wanted to keep what happened last night a secret? Although it was immediately found out. Hawawa. It's a love affair between adults. That's why I said. Mei Chan. For someone who's just 10 years old, you cannot speak of love affairs. You guys, why are you people making so much noise at this place? If you don't hurry up and eat breakfast, won't it will turn cold? The group of adults appeared on the corridor while we were making noise. That's right, it would be bad if I don't hurry up and send Uncle Dis and Cecil San to the royal castle. Good morning, everyone, your majesty. Irene San was already waiting inside the dining room. The dining room which was arranged differently because of yesterday's party was already returned to normal. As I thought, the level servants of the Claude house is high. Oh, my. What happened, Sicily? for your face to turn so red. N no. Nothing happened. Um, is that so? Other than that, everyone please hurry and have your meal. And so, the usual members plus additional guardians started eating breakfast. And while we were sitting down, Gus brought up a topic we once talked about. By the way, Shin, it's about the ceremony of the official investiture to become the crown prince. Ah, now that you said it, there was that. The ceremony will take place in a week. He e. Is that so? Because of that, I'm sorry but I would like for you to hold your engagement party before then. Eh? Why? After the ceremony of the investiture of the crown prince is over, it will be a public holiday and the royal capital will be having a festival for a while. Since that's the case, your engagement party will become really late. R. So it's like that. Viscount and Viscountess Claude, since that's the case, Although there's not much time, I ask of you to please make the preparations. Certainly, your highness. In that case, Claude, take some time off to make preparations. I will let the office know in your behalf. Could I really do that? Thank you very much. Thank you for your consideration. Dear, I will take care of the preparations for the party, and I'll leave it to you to make a list of the invited guests. I, I understand. You can leave it to me. Cecil San was pressured by Irene San's aura. So this person will end up becoming my mother-in-law. Shinkan. You're not thinking of something impolite, are you? No, I am not thinking about anything like that. Scary. Irene San is super scary. Sicily. After the training camp, there are a lot of things to be done for the engagement party, such as picking out a dress and choosing your accessories. So do your best. Yes, mother. In addition, because you're getting engaged before Cecilia and Sylvia. Please be prepared. You. Yes. Cecilia. Sylvia. They're my first and second daughter. I was probably making an inquisitive expression, so Cecil San told me. Now that I think about it, except for Cecily, Shinkan hasn't met any of our children. Yes, although I did hear about them, 
Do they not live in the house? It's because the three of them have already become independent, they are living in dormitories away from the house, or rent a house of their own. Three of them? Dot R. The older brother. What is the name of the older brother-in-law? R. It's Royce. Royce von Claude, for now. We have planned for him to become the heir to the Claude house. What's wrong? Nothing really. About our children, Cicely, and the other girls have entered the Advanced Magic Academy. Cecilia and Sylvia also joined the Magic Division. Only Royce, however, graduated from the Advanced Economic and Law Institute. Although he has a good head, he feels like he has lost to his sisters in physical strength. In any case, he lacks confidence. I is that how it is? The girls of the Claude house is scary. Shenkun, dear. Yes. No, it's nothing at all. Un. I feel like there's a strange power coming out of Sicily. A. Your Majesty. It's it about time we leave for the royal castle? Oh, that's right. Since that's the case, I'm counting on you, Shenkun. Why yeah. I understand. Ah, which reminds me. What is it? About that communication magic tool Shenkun showed me. Can you prepare two or three more of those? It's fine. Since I have some of them on me, do you want it now? Oh, it will be a great help, because of what's happening in the Empire, it's really hard to communicate with other bordering countries. It won't be right for our kingdom to monopolize the magic tool Shinkan made. I took out three of the magic tools I made and handed them over to Uncle Dis. Wait just a second. What are those, Shin? Huh? Nothing really. It's because I heard that it's difficult to gather intelligence of what's happening in the Empire, I thought that it would be convenient if there was a long distance communication tool, so a telecommunication device? Said by everyone. Ah, did I not tell everyone about it? T.O. explain how it works, I showed the magic tool to everyone. The form is a telephone made from two cans and a piece of string. The cup part is the voice transmission and reception, and once magic is directed into it, communication is possible. I thought that the magic tool was nice and easy to use, and the structure of the communication device itself was simple. This is more enough if it's just talking and listening to other people's voices. With this, can someone go outside the dining room to test it out? Yes, I want to go. Mei Chan raised her hand looking really cheerful. Ah, I was too late. Alice, you can't be too childish, since you're the older sister. Please concede it to her. That's right. Since this will also serve the purpose of training Mei-chan how to use magic tools, can I leave it to you? I did it. Grandma, can you go with Mei-chan? Ah, I don't really mind. With a complicated expression, Grandma left the dining room with Mei-chan. Alice, can I count on you on this side? I did it. Leave it to me. Then, just like what you would do to use other magic tools, Please direct your magic power to it. Okay, wha? I can hear a voice. Eh? Princess May? Eh? Are you Alice Nietzschean? That's right. But Princess May, where are you right now? I'm in my room. She sure went somewhere far. From that place? Then, Mei-chan, we will cut off the magic source from here, and switch with Macon. Grandma, please teach her. Why yeah, I understand. Now then, cut off your magic power, Alice. Yes. And after a while, um, can you hear me? Yeah, it's all right. We can hear you loud and clear. Mei-chan, I did it. I was able to use a magic tool for the first time. While Mei-chan sounded pleased with herself, a lot of questions were asked by the surrounding people. Wait a minute, Shin, what is this? Although Princess Mei was so far away, we could still talk to her. Shin Dono, you once again made something really unbelievable. With this, it would be easier to gather intelligence. This is wonderful. A Tilda? Walford Kun, I really don't understand you anymore. I wonder if it was close to the end of the joint training sessions with the Knight Academy? That I heard from Gus that it was really problematic to gather intelligence about the activities of the old empire. So I thought maybe I could do something about it. While I was explaining the process, Grandma's expression changed and jumped at me. Shin, you once again made something outrageous. Gra Grandma, I can't breathe. Grandmother, please calm down. Huff Tilda, Puff Tilda. Shin, what exactly is this? It is as you see, a magic tool you can use to talk to other people even at a long distance. Something like this. The dream of enchantment magic was this easily. Ah, that's right. That's how it is. This, with this transceiver. When I used enchantment on this connecting thread, I managed to succeed creating the voice transmission and reception. This is a large spider silk you got from a demon? Ah, as expected of grandma, you are absolutely right. That's right, 
The string that I used as a transmission line was a silk thread I got from a spider that turned into a demon. I expected it when I was looking at the uniforms enchanted with magic, and when I tried using the demonic spider's thread as a magic tool, it was a success. Although I say that it's a demonic spider, it's not a 2 meters or 3 meters demon. At most, its size is 20 centimeters, and when you capture it alive, it will continue to spit yarn with magic power, and if you use those thread full of magic power to make clothes, the clothes will be of high quality. No way, to use a magic thread this way. So it was the stereotypical concept that magic threads should be used to make clothes prevented us from making this. That's right, everyone thinks that magic threads are strictly used to make clothes. I knew that everyone was looking at me dubiously when I went inside a clothing store and asked for a magic thread. However, with this thing, Shinkan and his highness doesn't have to go to the royal castle every day. Although Sicily's question is reasonable, there's still a big problem with this. This thing, if it doesn't connect, there's no meaning to it. That's why even with the intel unit, we still need people to stand by on the other side of the line in order for this to work properly. I guess that's only natural, but if we were to do that, that's right. It will take some time. It is dangerous work to gather information about the old empire, and in addition, it takes a long time to communicate with the other neighboring countries. In order to use this for long distance communication, a large scale infrastructure is needed to bury the line underground and maintain it. Although it will eventually be convenient to use the magic tool to contact the towns from the royal city and vice versa, but right now, it can only be used for emergency communication purposes. This is amazing. I'm sure that this would make a lot of profit. It cannot be sold just like that. It wouldn't be strange if a fight for the rights over this breaks out. There's no need to worry about that, Melinda Shi. This magic tool has already been registered under Shinkan's name. And since it has received the recognition of the royal family, a fight won't break out. Dissium. What are you trying to do promoting Shin's reckless behavior? A. Ah. I'm very sorry, Grandma is amazing, she even scolded the king. Uncle Dis, why are you so weak against Grandpa and Grandma, even though you're the king? What is this, Shin, you didn't know about it. About what? I am father's first child, but don't you think that father doesn't look all that old? Now that you mention it, you're right. I did hear that the royal family and other aristocrats marry really early, and even though Uncle Dis is Gus' father, he's still relatively young. And I didn't quite believe that he already had a child at that age. About Dissium. When he graduated from the Advanced Magic Academy, he accompanied us to live a vagabond life. Back then, he was treated as an apprentice or other, a maid. So I think it's a little too late to treat him with respect. Ha ha ha. I was overworked severely. Uncle Dis has a far away look in his eyes. He probably was severely overworked. Or rather, Weren't you the crown prince back then? What were you doing Uncle Dis? Apparently, at that time, because he left his position as the crown prince behind, mother, who was his fiancée at that time, still can't get over that fact. Un, you reap what you sow. Ha ha. My ear hurts. That matter aside, Melinda she, I do believe that this magic tool is necessary for this world. It is not necessary for just our country but other countries as well and I plan to popularize it. I am very sorry about this, but please give your approval. Although grandma was looking bitter when she heard those words, she approved of it before long. A communication device for the kingdom's military. I don't think it's a good idea to give such a young person so much money. I think it's probably fine since Shin is already an adult. Let's just consider this an excellent way for him to earn an income. Nice follow, grandpa. Besides, I'm already engaged to Sicily so I need to make some income, Un, it's the amount that's the problem, the amount, certainly, the account balance of the royal bank is scary recently, your majesty, Un, the time, Un, ah, this is bad, Shinkan, I'm counting on you, ah, Un, I understand, while we were having a long conversation, time flew by quickly, so in a panic, I quickly opened gate and connected it to the royal castle, after sending Uncle Dis and Cecil San off anxiously, I joined today's training. To be honest, instead of practice today, we were going to do actual field combat training. When I conveyed it to everyone, because they already have some experience from the joint training with the Knight Academy students, they readily agreed. Before we started the training, I have to pass something to everyone. That is, 
battle uniforms enhanced with defensive magic. We can't wear our uniforms all the time. Men and women's clothing, mantle, and shoes were made by an uncle from Bin's workshop, and although I just passed him the design not too long ago, he had already completed it when I went to go buy a ring yesterday, so I brought it back as well. After the engagement party, I went back to my room and I enhanced it with defensive magic. Since the new battle uniform is already made, I thought we should use it today for combat training with actual monsters as opponents. The enhancement magic I enhanced it with were the same as the ones I gave to the uniform before. I enhanced the mantles with optical camouflage and air conditioner. When I enhanced it with thermal comfort, one could adjust the temperature in their immediate surrounding with the mantle. I call it aircon for short. As for optical camouflage, it actives when the entire body is covered by the mantle. Because if it wasn't like that, there might be a horrific image of a floating head. As to what other effects it has, it is currently a secret. By the way, because the total amount was scary, I took it out from my account. Besides, it's not good to keep asking the kingdom for funds, since things sometimes turn tricky when it comes to money. By the way, as for our boots, Although I will be using my jet boots, the others will be wearing common boots. Since they still need considerable practice to use that, I'll listen to everyone's opinions later. When I was teaching everyone how to use the enchanted magic, everyone was giving me astonished expression again. And although I understand why they were making that kind of expression. With this combat uniform, together with the accessories, it is unrivaled when it comes to defense. Ha ha. We will finally be wearing National Treasure Class clothes. Please give it up, Maria Dono. It'll be a wonderful item when you get used to it. Even though our uniform has increased in level, it doesn't mean that our magic did. Dot let's just give up. Ah, I didn't do anything to the boots. However, I can make it so that it'll be identical to my jet boots. I do want that enhancement. It's the same one you used against your fight with Shkdram right? It makes one be able to jump higher easily. Huh, Tony? You want to do close combat? I've been aching for it since we started the joint training with the Knight Academy. Although I wasn't thinking of going the same extent as Shin, I would still like to try fighting with magic in close combat. Isn't that fine? But I'll have to do the enhancing it after today's training, because practice is necessary. I understand. I'm looking forward to it. There wasn't anyone else who wanted to have the jet boots enhancement. While the others said it's because they didn't know the details, but those who saw the event were too scared to use it. After I finished explaining how to use the combat uniform, I handed it over to them and they went to change. After everyone finished changing, when they came out, for some reason, their tension increased just by wearing the new uniform. The boys were wearing long jackets and trousers, with a pair of boots. It was black in color. As for the girls, they were wearing identically designed jackets with short culottes under it and knee-length boots. Because if they were wearing skirts, they might feel uneasy and it will be bad if their movements become dull. It was dark blue in color, I thought to have it in red, but the uncle rejected the idea because they might stand out in the battlefield. The design seemed quite popular, and the girls were praising each other's appearance. When Mei Chan saw them, she said in a seemingly envious voice. Everyone looks really cool. I also want one. When I placed the order for these, I still haven't met Mei Chan yet. Is that so? Then should I also make one for Mei Chan? Are you telling the truth, Shin Anichan? Yeah, what would you like? Would it be fine if it was the same as everyone? Although everyone looks really cool. I want something more cute. Is that so? She wants cute magic clothes. Then, since I'm in high spirits, should I design one now? Shin, don't spoil her too much. It's fine if it's just this much. Ha uh, ha, uh, it seems like when you have children, you'll spoil them too much. Ah, uh, you might be right. I cannot refute Gus' accusation. It seems like I will really spoil them. A doting Shin Kun. Sicily seems to be having some kind of delusion, and started twisting and turning. Well, I'll do that when we return. Well then, I'll open the gate to the usual place. But Ellie and Mei Chan will be house sitting. I understand, since we'll be interfering with the subjugation. Please take care and come back soon. And so, leaving those two behind, I opened gate. But instead of connecting it to the wilderness as usual, I opened it near the house I used to live in with Grandpa. A lot of the demons from the old empire have wandered here. There are more demons than before. Well then, since you are now more than capable of subduing large scale demons, this time, Let's aim for disaster class demons. You, 
don't suddenly say something so outrageous, so that so, I thought that if it's demons such as a large bear, we are likely able to defeat it with magic. I was able to defeat those with just magic. Ah, though you're talking about the Alice Reckless event. Wait a minute. Please don't say it in a similar way when you're talking about Rin. That's impolite, Alice. Because, when you talk about being reckless the image of Rin appears. Well, she is, after all, the reckless magic girl. That's right, I am the reckless magic girl. No, I wasn't praising you or anything. Is that so? Whenever I talk to Rin about this subject, it always seems to go the opposite way I intended. The small-sized and medium-sized demons. Let's subjugate those for now. The materials for the demons we subjugate can be sold for money. Everyone started using search magic and looked for demons. And after a while. Ah, this is. Sicily was first to notice something. Although she said that she was good at support magic such as recovery magic and defense magic, she is also the best at using search magic out of all the members of the research society. After Sicily noticed it. The rest of the members increased their concentration and noticed it one after another. This is really. The amount of magic power it has is complete different from all the demons we've encountered. Sicily San, although it's still quite far away, you did well noticing it. Olivia said in admiration. It's because I encountered something like it during the joint training. Although at that time, Shinkan was immediately able to subjugate it. It will be alright, since everyone's power has increased you will be able to take care of it as well. Because everyone was feeling somewhat anxious, I said words to encourage them. In addition, because you are all wearing new combat uniforms with strong defensive ability, you won't get injured. Even so, they still seem insecure. I guess it's only natural since this will be their first time to subjugate a disaster class demon. While we slowly approached the demon to subjugate it, we exchanged some words about the lion. Sicily. Do you remember what I said before? Yes, tigers are quick but their power is weak while lions have strong power but their movements are slow. Good job in remembering. Un. Ah, I was patting her head before I knew it. Everyone's glances are painful. Ahem. Um that's how it is, because its power is strong, it's not recommended to do near it. So what do you think you should do? We use magic to attack it from far away. Correct. Since that's how it is, I let everyone subjugate it. Although grandpa. Grandma and I will not be participating, it will still be an overkill to have 11 people attack it, thus, I asked only half of them to go, first up was Julius who wasn't good with attack magic, Sicily who was good at support magic, Yuri who was good at enhancement magic, Mark from the blacksmith and Olivia from the restaurant, this group, consist of people who are good with support magic, will this be alright, this is still probably, considered as an overkill, although they were still only half convinced, I wanted to test it out first, then, the five will shoot magic all together, without giving them much time, I asked to shoot it, are you all ready, in that case, shoot it, with my cue, Julius shot a flame arrow, Sicily shot a water spear, Yuri shot a wind blade, Mark shot a flame spear, and Olivia shot a water arrow all together, Kaboo. <laughs> When all the spells landed on one concentrated area, it exploded with a loud sound. And then, what remained of that explosion was, a Hilda. As I thought, it was an overkill. The demonized lion which was classified as a disaster class demon, only remnants of it remained. As for the people who shot those spells, they were surprised at their own strength. When one practices magic in a place such as the wilderness, it's hard to measure one's own strength, because all we did was fire magic in the wasteland. Wah, t, o think that people who are not good with attack magic were able to produce such result. The other six people are good with attack magic, right? Wouldn't they be able to subdue one alone? T, o those words, everyone wouldn't conceal their complicated feelings. No matter how much stronger we have become, it's impossible. No, I feel like it won't be that difficult when we actually try it. We probably can. I feel like I can do it as well. For some reason, I feel like we have become someone inhuman. I also feel like we have indeed become like that. Huh? When did I suddenly grade up to someone inhuman? From the very start. How cruel. With Alice's cruel impression, Sicily comforted me, and we continued to look for the next disaster class demon. Even though you guys are going out. It doesn't mean you should flirt all the time. Although Maria got angry, we continued our search operation. T.O. be honest, disaster class demons are rarely seen, but with my search magic, I could sense a lot of lions or tigers, 
and even super large bears. That bastard really did something troublesome, and because of that, we immediately found the next demon. Now then, with this kind of reaction, it's a tagger, which means restrain our magic, and deal with it using physical attacks. Right. Then, who should go? Then, I guess I will go. When he said that, Tony took out his vibration sword from his extra dimensional storage space and stepped forward. Because Tony was originally skillful at handling swords, so I gave him a vibration sword. Then, I'll be going now. If it gets dangerous, please back me up. Okay please do your best. Alright, here I go. Clad with wind attributed magic, Tony rushed at the demonized tiger at a high speed. Although the tiger noticed Tony and tried to evade. Tony was faster. The demonized tiger which failed to run away in time got one of its leg chopped off. With its balance disrupted, the demonized tiger wasn't able to land well, and at that moment, Tony shot a fire attributed attack magic at it. Having fallen to the ground and shot by a fire magic, the demonized tiger completely stopped moving. After the fire attack destroyed its other leg, without missing the chance, he swung the vibration sword at its neck. Dot amazing. Ah, really? to perfectly subjugate a disaster class demon in such a dangerous way. Just like Shin. But if it's just at that scale, I think I can manage it as well. Because you're saying something like that that you have become abnormal. Although I think I can do it as well. It's a mystery that I find that common. Everyone else seems to finally feel their improvements. Well, I already knew that they would improve during the training in the wilderness. That is the reason why I brought them there. Really? you people. You guys have become an outrageous group of people. Ho ho, this is a good thing. Grandma who looks to be at wit's end, and grandpa who looks really happy at everyone's improvements. Although I feel sorry for grandma, I still plan on having them improve more. And then, everyone else took turn to subjugate a disaster class demon on their own, and the morning training ended. By the way, when we redeemed our spoils in the Demon Hunter Association, other than Tony, because of his share from the design fee of the exchange sword, all the commoners started rejoicing and dancing when they received a large amount of money. Anasama, what was the result of the subjugation? As for me, I defeated two tigers and one bear. Tiger? Bear. Ellie cried out in surprise and attracted all the servants. Augusto Sama, are you all right? Ah, uh, that's right. This would be a normal reaction. What do you mean by that? No, at first I was perplexed but then I was able to subjugate it myself. In the end, it became a competition on who could subjugate the most demons. Eventually, I ended up coming first. Tony Kun is unfair, because you can also use a sword. Um, what are you guys talking about? They're disaster class demons, so we need to mobilize the army. That's right. Even I know all about it. The people from the military suffered trauma because of them. And to actually hold a competition and subjugate it alone. It can't be helped since that's the truth. We have all been poisoned by Shin. Augusto Sama, before I knew it. You became an human. Please stop giving me the same treatment as Shin. Aren't you being too cruel? Everyone felt pleasant and started to accept the strength they have. At this rate, it won't be long until they will be able to defeat a devil. I had that kind of feeling after overseeing the accomplishments of today's training. By the way, today's experiment was the sequel of floating magic. I used floating magic to let everyone fly in the sky. A few days had passed since our demon subjugation training. Subjugating small-sized, medium-sized, large-sized, as well as disaster-class demons one after another, our remuneration steadily increased, and from the payment everyone received, I received a portion as payment for the battle uniforms. Although I told them they didn't have to do it, they strongly insisted that it's inexcusable to receive it without paying, so, in the end, the balance of my bank account returned to its original amount, or rather, because of the payment for the demon subjugation, it has increased instead. However, since I always barely had enough to live by in my previous life, I didn't know what to do with so much money. When I consulted Irene San about it, she made an it can't be helped expression. As a parent, it is desirable to have my daughter marry someone who is financially stable for her to live an easy life. Thus, with Shinkan's assets increasing, it's a dream come true for me. Because of that, Please consult me when you're having financial difficulties. No matter what, we are still a Viscount House who manages a territory. Ha ha ha, thank you very much, Lady Claude. 
The rights to Shin's communication magic tool will also be introduced to the world. I think it would be better to consider starting a company. There's also that. Shinkun, Gurusama, are you acquainted with someone who owns a company? Why is Grandma being asked and not Grandpa? Oh. Does Shinkun not know about it? The majority of the magic tools around the world are invented by Guru Sama. I have heard that that is the case. And about the rights to those? Ah, I haven't heard anything regarding that topic. The magic tools invented by Guru Sama has been spread throughout the world, right? That is not something an individual can manage. It is most likely advertised by some company. Ah, if that's the case, it might be because of Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom? His name is Tom Haig. He is a representative of the Hague Chamber of Commerce. He has been coming to our house since a while back and he said he was indebted to Grandpa, so it wasn't actually Grandpa but Grandma. You are acquainted with the representative of Hague? Alice who heard the conversation suddenly asked in a loud voice. Come to think of it, Alice said that her father was an accountant working for Hague Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. Did I not mention it before? I didn't hear about it at all. Hague Chamber of Commerce, is it? Indeed. If it's that company, they certainly do have a large variation of quality magic tools. So Guru Sama had dealings with that company. Ah, did I somehow expose something I wasn't as supposed to expose? From where she was sitting, Grandma got up and seemed like she was heading towards the hot springs. I'm sorry, Grandma. About Uncle Tom, was it supposed to be a secret? I don't particularly mind if you disclose it. My business dealings with Tom aren't specifically a secret. I'm really glad. Because the way Irene San spoke, it felt like they finally found out that they were business partners. It had that kind of atmosphere, so. Fufu, Shinkan is really cute. It is worthwhile to tease you. So Lady Claude also understands. Because Shin gives the reaction you expect, it makes one want to tease him all the more. I understand what you mean. Your Highness. Wait a minute, Gus. Irene San. Look. Yes. Eh? This one, too? What a disaster. If my mother-in-law participates as well, I'll be teased all the time. Really, mother, please stop doing that. I feel sorry for Shinkun. Sicily provided cover for me. Way to go. Do your best. Oh my, I'm sorry. You'll feel unpleasant if your husband is being made fun of. Husband. What a disaster. Even Sicily fell into her mother's trap. Although Sicily lost her war potential, the good feeling continued inside the Claude mansion. In the end, it was decided that I would receive guidance from Uncle Tom regarding the communication magic tool and start up my own company. Well, since it can only be used for emergency contact, for now, I'm not in a hurry to set it up. And so, the day of my engagement party in the royal capital arrived. The venue is the Claude Mansion in the royal capital, and will be announced to the people invited by the Claude and Walford House. I don't know how many people from the Claude House will come, but as for my side, it will be everyone who celebrated my birthday and my homeroom teacher, Alfred Sensei, because they are few in numbers. Will this be alright? Really? I wonder what Shindono is talking about. Although the numbers are few, the quality of the people are. The previous general of the Night Order, the King, the Idols of the Night Order and the Magic Division, and the representative of the famous Chamber of Commerce. And the person in question is the grandchild of Magi Sama and Guru Sama. Alfred Sensei is pitiable. It is exactly as Rin San said, as for me, my invitation might get refused at the door. It will be necessary for us to back up Sensei. Now that they mention it, it might be so. When they used to come to the forest house, I didn't know of their titles, so I didn't imagine them to be such great people. The members of the research society will be participating today wearing their uniforms. It seems like their families will also be coming. And when the time comes to change clothes, everyone gathered in the room, and there was a knock at the door. Yes. When I responded and opened the door, there was a man and two women. Older brother, older sisters. Oh, Sicily. It's been, a tilde. Long time no see. Sicily Tilda, you've gotten cuter again. Ark. Older sister. It's painful. It's been such a long time since I've seen my cute little sister, you know? Bear with it for a while. That's right. And when I heard from father that my super cute younger sister is having an engagement party, older sister was really sad. You were about this older sister. It seems like she's super affectionate towards Sicily. Is this what it is? You're unsuitable for my cute little sister. 
that kind of pattern? You must be Shin Kun, yes. Tilda, you woo woo. She's assessing me. She's definitely assessing me. Dot ha ha. The guy who laid a hand on my super cute little sister. I was hoping to find a fault with that guy. Major Sama and Guru Sama's grandchild, a good looking guy with money. Someone who has surpassed Meiji Sama in terms of magic. No matter how you look at it, it's hard to find fault in him. Ah, thank you. Oh, it seems like I have successfully avoided something. Ho ho, what do you think of my grandchild? Have you accepted him? It's only natural. He is, after all, my grandchild, you know. Eh? Are you perhaps Meiji Sama? Guru Sama? I'm Shin's grandfather, Merlin. His grandmother, Melinda. When grandpa and grandma introduced themselves, the two of them immediately stood upright. I, I am very sorry for my late introduction. I'm Cicely's older sister, the first daughter of Viscount Claude, Cecilia von Claude. Lee likewise, I am Cicely's older sister, the second daughter of Viscount Claude, Sylvia von Claude. I am very honored to meet you. Unlike the gaze they used to look at me as though they were appraising me, they looked at Grandpa and Grandma with admiration and respect. Ho ho, you are the older sisters of my grandchild's bride. There's no need for you to be so stiff. That's right, we'll soon to be family, so there's no need to be formal. Ma Meiji Sama and Guru Sama's family. Ah, uh, is this a dream? Sicily. What is it, Cecilia and Aizuma? You did well, Sicily. Although I never imagined Sicily getting married. But this is the best. That's right, you found the best partner, Sicily. Shinkan. Yes, I am the eldest daughter, Cecilia. I entrust Sicily to you. I am the second daughter. Sylvia. I, as well, please treat me well. Yes, it is I who should say please treat me well. Oh, his personality seems good as well. That's right, I wondered what kind of person you were before meeting you. The older sisters who seemed like they wanted to reproach me for taking away their cute little sister when he grandpa and grandma mentioned being family, their mood changed to being contented. It has suddenly turned noisy. The eldest daughter Cecilia San feels like a developed Sicily who is on her way to becoming similar to Irene San. It will be interesting to put the three side by side to see the growing process. The second daughter, Sylvia San inherited her short beautiful blonde hair from Cecil San and she also has blue eyes just like Cecil San. The both of them are beautiful women. Aside from that, there's something I'm curious about. Um, what's wrong? Shinkan, is there something you would like to ask? Yes, um, about the person over there who's crouching. That's right, the man who entered together with the older sisters and was shoved aside, that person, is probably, no, there's no mistake. Are you Roy's san? Yo you were able to notice me, Shinkan. Well, about that, you are Cicely's older brother, so, of course, I'm interested in you. Is that so? I'm glad to have a dependable brother-in-law. Ah. I'm Royce von Claude, the eldest son of Viscount Claude. When he was noticed, the older brother suddenly became energetic. Dot usually, he is probably be oppressed by the other sisters. I'm Shin Walford. My best regards, Royce San. My best regards as well. And also, Meiji Sama, Guru Sama, it is very nice to meet you. I am the eldest son of Viscount Claude, Royce von Claude. Please treat me well from here onwards. I'm Melinda, please treat me well. Too. I'm Merlin. Royce Kun. Yes. Dot I can understand your hardship. Do your best. Mage Isama. Sniff thank you very much. This looked like some deeply moving scene is occurring. Grandpa is also often treated like heir. So he has some sympathies for him. Do your best Grandpa. Royce San. Really? Shin's surroundings are always noisy. A. Eh? P. R. Prince Augusto. Why are you in this place? It's neither here nor there. I am part of the same research society as Shin, and the two of us are friends. I don't think it's that surprising. I is that so? Ah. Please accept my sincere apologies. T. O. Actually disregard the presence of His Highness. Ah. Don't worry about it. As I said earlier, I'm here because the two of us are friends. The two of them always stick together and he is the original perpetrator of all this. Hearing Ellie's words, the two older sisters were surprised and expressed their gratitude towards Gus. I was utterly ignorant of that piece of information, please excuse my impoliteness. Also, for mediating between the two people, please accept my thanks as their elder sister. Thank you very much. Seeing that, 
Roy San panicked and immediately got down on one knee. Yo your highness, I apologize for not greeting you sooner. And I wish to express my gratitude for this occasion. Thank you very much. I seem to have found grandpa's kindred spirit, air alliance. Such a sorrowful alliance, because there's still time before we have to change our clothes. We got out of the room to help out with the venue. Ha huh. ha. Uh, I was really nervous, even though they're your blood related older brother and older sisters. About my elder sisters. They said, when I decide my partner, they want to ascertain it. But if it was Shinkan, I was pretty sure you'd do fine, but just in case. Well, you might never know what kind of question they might have asked. It's all thanks to grandfather and grandmother. They accepted it really quickly. After being called grandfather and grandmother, the two people were smiling from ear to ear. They look really glad. I leave Sicily to change her clothes, and I also went to change mine. It was finally time. And when Cecily finished dressing up, she returned to the room. Although she is also wearing a blue dress, this time, she looks more adult like and the frills were mostly gone. Her hair is also in an updo, but the accessories she's wearing looks gorgeous compared to last time. She's also wearing makeup, she really looks more adult like. Then, let's go. Yes, we linked our arms and headed to the hall. Grandpa and Grandma were walking behind us, although it was fine for them to wait in the hall. But because it might cause an uproar, they decided to appear together with us. When we approached the hall, you are, there's signs of there being a lot of people. How many people came? There seems to be a lot of rustling. Ah, now that I think about it, what about Uncle Dis? Don't tell me he's already waiting in the hall. We apologize for keeping everyone waiting for such a long time. The two headliners will now be making their appearance. Please give them a warm applause. Cecil San's voice was heard clearly through the voice amplification magic tool, and the door to the hall opened. For some reason, it looks like the marriage reception of the wedding of a senpai I attended in my previous life. When the door opened, we were received with a big applause. There seemed to be an elevated platform facing the guests, and on it were Cecil San, Irene San, and Uncle Dis. As I thought, he was there. Of course, it would be noisy. Over here, I have to worry about grandpa and grandma. Since we will be sitting in the seat of honors, it will be problematic if they get surrounded. When grandpa and grandma joined the guardian seats, Uncle Dis started speaking. The engagement between Shin Walford and Cicely von Claude, we, Dissium von Elscheid, will serve as a witness and give our approval. Is there anyone who objects? When Uncle Dis uttered those words, it became silent, and grandpa and the others nodded in assent. In that case, we now acknowledge that these two are now affianced. When he said those words, the hall was filled with applause. Let us stop the stifling formalities here, and so, everyone, please raise your glass. T.O. the celebrate the future of these two people. Cheers. Cheers. Everyone in the hall. And so the engagement party has finally begun, and it was an immense struggle. Many people whom Cicely knew and was related to congratulated her, but because it was my first time meeting them, I was mentally stressed out. Yo, congratulations. As I thought, you geese were going out. When one looked at that situation from before, there wouldn't be anyone who wouldn't think so. Congratulations Shin, Cicely San, Sayagnichin, Chris Nietzschen. What is it? You look completely exhausted. Because I've been meeting a lot of people for the first time, I've been feeling nervous. So even Shin feels nervous from time to time. What has Chris Nietzschen been thinking of me as? My bad. Shin, I was also thinking that, how cruel, with the arrival of Siag Nichen and Chris Nichen who weren't able to participate during the last party, I was finally able to take a breather, I was really feeling nervous for a while now, it's been a long time, Shin, T.O. think that that small child has gotten engaged, I've really gotten old, R, it's been a long time Michelle San, it looks like you've been carrying on with your training, well, it's because of the current situation. I cannot neglect any preparations. That's great, it is a good mindset to have. Ah, I'll make the introductions, this is Cicely who just became my fiancé. No nice to meet you, Sword Saint Sama. I am Cicely von Claude. This time, I was allowed to get engaged to Shinkan. Please treat me well from here onwards. Nice to meet you, young lady. I'm Michelle Cohen. Because I took care of Shin together with Major I don't know when he was still young. I treat him as my own nephew. I would be glad if the young lady treats me as such. Yes, it will be my honor. Now that I think about it, it is Cicely's first time meeting him. Or rather, 
all the members of the research society. Cicely looks extremely impressed. Congratulations Shinsan, it's been a long time since we've met. Ah, Uncle Tom, it's been a long time. Fufu, to think that small child, Shinsan, has gotten engaged. Time sure passed by quickly. Everyone has been saying that, however, I think that a lot of time has already passed. It is only natural for the child to think so. Besides, all families will think that their sons and daughters have grown up quickly. Even so, I still think Shinsan grew up quicker than others. Did he really grow up that quickly? Cicely asked the question while looking really interested in Uncle Tom's story. Oh, I apologize for not greeting you sooner. Young lady, I am Tom Haig, pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Cicely von Claude, please treat me well from here on out. And so, you said that Shinkan grew up rather quickly? What do you mean by that? Ah, about that, I deliver daily necessities to Merlin Sama's house regularly. Eh? The representative, took it there personally? Yes, since I have a great obligation towards Merlin Sama and Melinda Sama, I cannot entrust it to other people. And so, every time I go there, I will bring a book back for Shinsan. And each time, the difficulty of the book increases. He was a really smart child. He, he. Is that so? Eventually, he started reading the theses of Magic Academic Council, the best research institute of magic. Moreover, he contrasted their opinions. I will never forget the panicked expression of Merlin Sama, Melinda Sama, as well as His Majesty. T. That sort of thing happened, but I can somehow imagine it. Is that so? But every single time I visit, the level increases further. When I think of that time, I feel like time passed by really quickly. Cicely and Uncle Tom hit it off with such a strange topic. It's because I came from a different world. So there are a lot of things I wanted to know about. Maybe that's why I felt like time was rather slow. Ah, that's right Uncle Tom, I need to consult something with you later. Oh? What is it about? About that. Because of the voice amplification around here, could you ask Grandma and Irene San about the full details? Yes that would be fine. I shall go ask them immediately. When he said that, Uncle Tom headed towards where Grandma and Irene San were. Dot Walford. Wa. You surprised me. What's wrong, Alfred Sensei? For some reason, Alfred Sensei was standing behind me looking depressed. Why did it turn out like this? Although I'm happy to receive an invitation to your engagement party, why? Why am I a guest of the Walford house? Eh? Was that no good? Dot what about the other invited guests? It should be Uncle Dis, Michelle San, Siagnichen, Chris Nietzsche, and Uncle Tom. And so, why am I together with them? Eh? Because you're my instructor? Really? Because I am lined up together with those people. The jealous glances I'm getting from the surroundings are painful and scary. Oh, oh my, are you not Alfred Senpai? Siegfried, don't call my name in such a loud voice. Kuku, isn't it fine? You should act dignified since you are Shin's homeroom teacher. Dot you are still carefree as always. Well, it's because I've been treating Shin like a little brother since the old days. So I would be daunted if I didn't receive an invitation. Although I felt awkward hearing Siagnichen's words. But since I've also always thought of him as an older brother, I'm glad we have mutual feelings. I also think of him as a younger brother. Chris Nietzsche also said so. Thank you, Chris Nietzsche. You're welcome. Like that. The party advanced to the latter half. However, Alfred Sensei was looking quite uncomfortable, and so, the party ended without any problems. Dot I thought that a fellow will approach me and say, you are not suitable for Sicily San but that event did not occur. It's probably because the king has officially authorized it. However, there was a guy who was sending me death glares and looked like he wanted to kill me. The next day was Gus birthday party and official investiture ceremony to become the crown prince. The ceremony will take place on a stage in front of the royal palace, and it will be open to the public. During the event, the loudspeaker Cecil San used before. A magic tool that amplified one's voice or rather, I should just call them a mic and speaker. The mic had voice transmission while the speaker had sound reception and amplification. Cecil San used it a little while ago as a trial run. And that day, oh, Gus is looking prince-like. Um, it's not prince-like he is a real prince. After seeing Gus wearing the clothes specially made for the ceremony, I inadvertently said those words. Dot how should I say this? I feel embarrassed wearing these kinds of clothes in front of everyone. Augusto's armor. You've been poisoned by Shinsan and the others too much. As I thought, it's like that after all. Hey, 
didn't you just agreed yesterday during the engagement party? Well, it's fine, that aside, August Osama, since there will be many occasions such as this one, please regain your original sense. Yeah, I understand. Unlike the school uniforms that we wore the other day, we are wearing our battle uniforms. In fact, we will all be accompanying him up on the stage during the ceremony. The place before the stage in front of the royal castle was filled with people, and Gus' official investiture to becoming the crown prince finally started. Our son, Augusto von Erlscheid, does thou art swear as the crown prince of the kingdom to strive with all of your being for the people? I swear to sacrifice my own life for the people of this kingdom. MHM. We hereby declare we recognize Augusto as the crown prince. We anticipate you giving your all for the sake of the people. I respectfully obey. The words spoken by the two people through the mic was amplified by the speaker and was heard throughout the plaza. The people who gathered in front of the stage broke out with shouts of joy. When the official investiture of the crown prince was about to end, a soldier ran forward from the side of the stage. He looked out of breath and looked like he ran with all his might. He shook off the restraints of the other soldiers and shouted, I have something to report. We have just received a transmission from the Swedes kingdom. The Swedes kingdom is a place between the empire and the kingdom, in other words, one of the small countries. When the soldiers heard what he said, their expressions changed and moved out of the way. Which means that, a lot of devils have appeared in the Swedes kingdom, and they are currently in the state of war. As expected, it was a report regarding the movements of the devils. Foolish person. What are you thinking to report such information in the middle of the ceremony? It's fine. Don't reproach that person. It wasn't Uncle Dis voice that was amplified but Gus. Your Highness. You did well in delivering the information. Information regarding devils should be given top priority above all else. Or rather, it will be a problem if the report is delayed. Oh, Gus is acting prince-like. Because of the mic. Everyone was able to hear Gus' words. The people who have gathered were restless after hearing the report sightings of devils. Everyone, please calm down and listen. A moment ago, we have received a report that a devil has appeared in the neighboring country, Swedes Kingdom. Gus began to explain to the people who have gathered in the plaza. However, please do not worry. We have already acquired means to deal with devils. When Gus said that, he looked at me. I understood it instantly. This is a performance. Because the devils have made their move. This is a measure to prevent people from getting restless. Shin. Gus called out to me with a loud voice, and I walked up right next to him. He is Shin Walford, my best friend, the grandchild of the hero, Merlin Walford, and the newly inaugurated hero who defeated a devil just recently. Listening to Gus' words, the people held their breaths and watched intently. I, we have been studying together with Shin, and we have finally gained strength to oppose devils, excluding me, Gus beckoned for the other members of the research society to join him. We have grown to the point where all of us can subjugate a disaster class demons by ourselves. Subjugating disaster class demons alone? Hearing those words, rather than the regular citizens, it was the soldiers who were surprised. That's right, according to the information we have, Artificial devils have similar strength to disaster class demons. Knowing that, don't you think we have enough strength to take them down? Although it was actually reported that they are slightly stronger than disaster class demons, I said slightly, so it's not exactly a lie. We will immediately head off to the Swedes kingdom and subjugate those devils, please be relieved. After saying that, Gus suddenly took off the clothes he was wearing for the ceremony. Under those, he was wearing the battle uniform of the research society. Why is he prepared for it? Shin, you say something as well. Me, too? And also, somehow think of a team name. I am insecure of using the name of the research society. Right now? Because the mic was still turned on, we were whispering in each other's ear in a low voice. What does he mean? Think of something. Dot everyone. Please do not be anxious. I have already fought against a devil and defeated it without a problem. In addition, Everyone here has enough strength to take them down. We. What name should I use? Because we are the ultimate magic research society. No good. This is the only name we cannot use here. Dot we. The ultimate magicians will subjugate the devils by all means. You are. I have definitely done it. What is this ultimate magicians? It's it just a little translation. More than anything, it is pathetic. Having regret what I have spoken, I stood on the stage while blushing. You are. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everyone in the plaza, an excited cheer suddenly broke out. Cuckoo, ultimate magicians, huh? Isn't it quite a nice name? Why you?
even at such a time. Oops, don't misunderstand me, I don't have that kind of intention. This time, it is coincidentally a nice name. I wonder if that's true. That aside, let's move forward and make it more flashy, in order to bring hope to the people. Ah, I understand. Taking the field and make it more flashy. I guess this is the only way. I cast floating magic on all the members and started floating in the air. I'm glad I experimented with it. Everyone used wind magic to adjust their positions. The people who were cheering a while ago were lost for words after seeing the spectacle. Now then, ultimate magicians. Depart. Comma oh 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 research society members. All the members answered and then used their own wind magic to move forward. And then, there was loud cheering behind us once more. Dot please don't chant that name so loudly, rewinding the time a bit, at the same time when Shin and Sicily were flirting at the mansion in Claude Town, after fallen by storm, dominated by devils and demons. The ex-imperial capital of empire was turned into devil metropolis where devils were gathered. After Storm and Co destroyed the imperial capital, what would they do afterward? Firstly, Storm was increasing the quantity of demons, overflowing ex-empire's territory through the neighboring countries. Then, after sealed the movement of the other countries, they started to exterminating the remaining town inside ex-empire's territory one by one. Storm attacked every groups of demon hunters and armies who come to investigating the situation. He also blockaded the flows of information and goods to each town. So that, that was the reason why there was no goods which delivered to each town's T.O. do an investigation. Herald recruited every soldiers to do a reckless military expedition to investigate the situation, but the last tray of hope, the demon hunters who went into investigation, there was none of them who returned. Since there was also no information which come, they didn't aware that the imperial armies had suddenly annihilated and the empire was fallen. Because they gradually short of the daily necessities without any clear reason, the displeasure of the citizen gradually grew stronger. Oi, give all of the breads here to me. What are you talking? There was no wheat flour which delivered these days, so it was already decided that you could only buy one per family. Such a thing. I give no damn about it. I have a big family here. That is also same with me. Everybody were enduring it here. You shouldn't act selfishly like that. What did you say? Old hag. What? While well, such tumult happened here and there, not just exhausted physically because of the shortage of food, they also exhausted mentally. There was no goods which came even when such tumult happened everywhere, and when they lost their strength because of starvation. Th. There's a demon. There's a horde of demons which come this way. The guards who watch keeping at the rampart, running while shouting that there was an attack from demons. What? Shit. What are the imperial armies doing? Hey, what should we do? There was almost no remained demon hunter either. The citizens were panicked because of the attack from demons. At that moment. Why everyone, you seem in good spirit. A voice reverberated the whole town as if sneering at the citizens who were exhausted because of the shortage of foods and also information, I am Oliver Storm, here I have a proposal for all citizens of this town, the town resident who were panicked because of the attack from the demons, become even more confused by the sudden voice which reverberate at the whole town, but they still listening to that voice, then, at this town, is there anyone who has a resentment toward nobles, and want to kill those nobles with your own hands, if there are, let's see, would you please assemble at near the south gate, I am going to give you a strength to overthrow those nobles. The time limit is one hour starting now. The voice which reverberate inside the town suddenly vanished after said those words. After listening to that declaration, the citizens couldn't understand what happened. There was no citizens who didn't have any resentment toward the tyrant and haughty nobles. But if they were asked whether their resentment were to the point where they wanted to kill them or not, the citizens were perplexed. They want to run away but, no good, we can't open the gate, why, after that strange voice, aren't those demons didn't attacking, now is the right time to run away, those demons are overflowing outside the town, there's no place to run away, these exchanges were happened at every gates except the south gate, those massive mount of demons weren't attacking, couldn't understand what that voice means, they began to ask what was the meaning of it, and when they thought to use the time to run away, they were suddenly had surrounded by demons. Unable to run away, the citizens were could only waiting for the judgment at the hour later, like a prisoner. At the same time, at the south gate, there were several citizens who answered Storm's invitation. It is fewer than what I expected, Storm's armor. 
as expected with this method, isn't it hard to raise the wariness of the citizens? I am not that concerned though, since my intention is not to gather people. With this, this town's resident must be feel more despair and confuse right? I am sorry for saying too much, please forgive me, Fufu, do not mind it. The red-eyed men talked with the same voice as the proclamation voice just now. They felt dubious but, since they might be able to got a power which able to overthrow the nobles, there was none of them who left that place. Then, do you all here really want to overthrow the nobles? When Storm asked that question, there was someone among the citizens who assembled there, who took a step forward. I, my love I was stolen by a noble. Then, with the reason that he was tired with her. She was returned home after being killed. Him, I want to kill him with my own hands. The man squeezed out such word, filled with hatred. Thereupon, whether being supported by that, a woman also took a step forward. My father was killed, even though he didn't do anything wrong. The reason was just because he was in his field of view. What kind of hardship our family must face after my father's death. I want that noble to realize that. The other peoples also took a step forward and spoke out their resentment toward nobles. Fufu, isn't that a nice hatred? Please keep detesting nobles like that, okay? After said that, Storm began to gather dark magical energy. Then. He crammed that dark magical energy into the chest of those nobles detester. You, you go, a, a. The citizens who got the dark magical energy were started to groan. Then, he crammed that dark magical energy toward all the citizens there. The citizens were fainted in agony for an instant but, they regained conscious not long after and the power inside their body. They could felt magic was overflowing within their bodies. Th, this is, foo foo. How is that? With that you should be able to kill those nobles right? Yes, it is amazing. I feel like I could do anything right now. While saying that, they turned around and their eyes were dyed red, they were transformed into a devil. Then, since the one hour time have elapsed, then all of you, please head to the feudal lord's mansion. You should finish them off without fail, okay? Yes, certainly. Well then, Storm threw a magic toward the sky. Then, the magic exploded at sky high. It looked like a fireworks and dumbfounded the citizens who saw it. Then, together with a violent explosion, east, north, west and south gates were destroyed by magic, devils and demons were surging inside the town. You are kai a i i a The surging devils and demons were trampling down the citizens. Foo foo, what a nice spectacle. Watching that from the rampart, Storm seems satisfied by the appearance of the citizens who were being trampled down. And with a slight glance, he could see the crumble of the feudal lord's mansion. They also seem doing it well there. It seems freezing the feudal lord's mansion so that there won't be any nobles at this town who run away was worth doing. When Storm made the proclamation at the town, in order to make the nobles of this town unable to run away, he ordered the devils to blockade the feudal lord's mansion. And the result? The nobles who intended to run away and abandon the citizens were stopped at the feudal lord's mansion, and the town's citizens who had turned into devils were able to accomplish their long-cherished sweet revenge. Then, the remaining citizens were annihilated by the devils and demons, without any regards of gender, age, nor social standing. And then one by one, he attacked every town, and finally all towns and villages were destroyed. Honestly, with that much war potential and with the ability to blockade the information and goods, they could destroy all towns with just a single swing. But, Storm didn't do that. That reason was, since it was to corner them physically and mentally, not just the nobles, he even wanted to give despair to the commoner. That was the height of Storm's resentment toward Empire. That was why he attacked the towns one by one, it was indeed took quite a time but, at last he was able to destroy every towns and villages. The devils who were gathered at the ex-imperial capital were anticipating this date to at last come. The purgation of empire had finished. Next, we would attack the neighboring union, and finally unify the world. With this power, we would be able to do it. There won't be anyone who able to oppose us. After obtain the devil's power from Storm, since they used that power as they pleased, they were intoxicated by it. The devils were assembled inside the ex-imperial palace, lifted to that gorgeous place which normally outside their reach thus far, while impatiently anticipating what they might going to do afterward, they were waiting for the emergence of storm. Say, finally right. Yes, 
It was indeed took quite a time but at last we have purged the entire empire. There is no one who able to become our enemy. It's finally the time we would unify the world. You're right. I'm looking forward to it. Ooh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. We're going to unify the world. With our power, we would be able to do it without fail. That was the reason we obtained this power. As an empire's commoner who were being persecuted, to obtain a power and grown up to this point. It felt like a dream. We are going to proclaiming our new ambition. The person who was being waited in anticipation, Storm, accompanied by Milia and Zest, finally appeared. Storm walked passing the gate and the devils. The devils who watched that scene were looking at him with respect. Then, he sat at the throne where the previous emperor usually sat at. Finally he was going to make the proclamation. The anticipation of the devils was crushed by Storm's words. Then, because all of your hard work we were able to successfully overthrow the empire. We are success but. Is there possibly any problem? Storm Sama. Yes. Since overthrowing the empire is my main objective. What should we do hereafter? The devils couldn't believe their ears. Isn't there still something to do after overthrowing the empire? What is he saying? They wanted to ask that but. These words couldn't come out. P.L. Please do not joke like that. Doesn't the next is to unify the world? Why? Why I must do such a troublesome thing? The devils were unable to say anything when he heard those words. Unifying the world is troublesome. Why he must do such a thing? What did this esteemed person just said? Then. Why? Why did you turn us into a devil? Of course to make you my pawns right? Pawn. We are just a pawn you say? The man shouted towards Storm's remark. Me, since I thought that together with you, we might be able to unify the world, I turned myself into a devil. Well, I have said it right. Whether you had any resentment toward nobles or not, whether you wanted to take a revenge toward those nobles or not, why does it turn into something like that? Indeed Storm had turned peoples who had a strong resentment toward nobles into a devil, even though he had said that. But it seems those devils were following him with the intention to unify the world. What is he talking about? Storm was wondering from the bottom of his heart and inclining his head. You, you bastard. The man who keep shouting since just now finally snapped, and started gathering magical energy. But Storm, while seemed bothered, just by swinging his arm, the gathered magical energy was disappeared. The man's face was covered by surprise. The devils who watched that spectacle were divided into two sentiment. The one who admire him, as expected Storm Sama is amazing. And the one who irritated with him, with that much power why didn't he use it to unify the world? The devils were grumbling, trembled and wanted to hurriedly left the palace. Watching that, Storm, while looked bothered from the bottom of his heart, declared, Feel free to have any kind of ambition but... Could you please don't force that to me? Not blaming the man who rebelled to him, Storm was just declared to don't force their opinion to him. When he heard that, the man glared at Storm with despair and anger. Does that mean? You have no intention to unify the world? Didn't I have said that just now? When he heard Storm's answer, the rebelling man finally gave a parting words. I see, I see. I understand. I won't hope anything from you anymore. Then I'm going to do what I want. Feel free? Or rather, please do that from the very beginning. I'll take my leave then. After said that, the man turning back and left the audience. The audience which was filled with the atmosphere of anticipation just a moment before, now was filled with a stagnant atmosphere. Why did it turn this way? Didn't since just now we were anticipating our dreamlike brilliant future? Currently, that place was dominated by despair and bewilderment. It shouldn't be like this. The devils who dreamt to unify the world strongly thought that if there is any of you who want to follow that ambition, feel free to do so. You shouldn't preserve yourself, you may leave and follow him you know. If you want to go then feel free to go to wherever you pleased. As if they had no value at all and nothing just to pawn, the devils who were expecting Storm to unify the world were revealing their anger, and left the audience following the first man. They were around 100 that was almost two-thirds of the total devils. The only remained devils at the audience were around fifty devils who were initially together with him when they were overthrowing the imperial capital. Ha! Huh. Just what did they thinking about? Perhaps, since they suddenly got that power, they were intoxicated by it. So that is the case ha! Huh? The devils who remained here were the devils and demons which were enrolled here and had experienced the war against the armies and demon hunter. The devils who leave just now were they who barely ever participated in the war up until now. Oh, 
you sure understand it, since they were Storm Summer's pawn, of course I must understand their power, Milia was agreed with Storm's ambition to overthrow the Empire, she bore a deep adoration toward him, hence, she thought that she need to understood and manage the peoples who were turned into a devil by Storm, to make sure that they could successfully execute the plan to overthrow the Empire, the devils who left just now were never experienced the war up until now, that power which was given to them so that they could took a revenge toward the nobles, they misunderstood it and thought that that was their own power, moreover they also had aware about their misunderstood that that power which was given to them wasn't so that they could unify the world, she was aware of it but she'd just leave it be, she was aware of it, she was aware that Storm wasn't thought them as something special to him, she also thought that he might dispose them if he deemed them as something unnecessary, hence, she also thought that Storm might dispose anyone who had different opinion with him, leaving that aside, yet really okay, leave them be as it is, it should be fine right, it isn't like they may become a hindrance, ah, but that may be quite interesting in its own way, since that may become a good way to killing time, Storm Summer, different from Storm who didn't have any interest toward his surroundings. Milia felt sentiment toward the peoples who just left, similar like Milia who was fallen in love with Storm, the man who left also had a strong ambition to unify the world, the peoples who turned into a devils naturally and peoples who didn't, now they could see the great difference between them, they also aware that the true devil, Storm, didn't refer them as any special existence, nevertheless, Milia and the other were respected Storm who had gave them that power, and pledged to follow him wherever he go, by the way Storm Sama, I heard that you were wounded by someone at the kingdom but, dot Shin Wolf at Kanha, I was sure went through a bitter experience with him, he could inflict a wound to Storm Sama, is, is that true? The remaining devils there were those who had pledged to Storm, they didn't believe that that Storm would be wounded, yes, I almost able to safely escape from them but, when Walford Cunt suddenly appeared from nowhere, I got a wound at the time he tried to subjugate me, that was just how powerful he is, th, that's strong, yes, then how about we take him as our next target, since I want to repay the wound which he gave to me after all, and like that, they could felt a burning desire they never felt thus far, Storm Summer, I think that conclusion is too rushed, how about we take a rest for a while, and at that time, we are going to investigate the existence called Shin Walford. Zest was a former secret intelligence unit. For Storm's sake, he proposed to investigate Shin while they took a break. I think you don't need to prepare it that carefully you know. But, didn't we make those careful preparation to overthrow the Empire? That was because overthrowing the Empire was something that I wanted to do no matter what after all. Very concerned about that. Milia decided to try asking Storm about it, um, why did Storm Sama detest Empire that much, I was aware that you were a former noble here but, Milia asked the thing which make her very concerned since a long time ago, what was the reason which make Storm detest Empire that much, she was aware that there were many peoples who detest noble, but Storm's detest was supposed to be only bore by a commoner, moreover, why did he become a devil in the first place, Milia who was never asked that, thought that she might be able to inquire it since his ambition was already accomplished, come to think of it, I never tell you about it right, and like that, Storm tell them about what happened at his past, I was, originally a duke who hold a right to inherit the throne, around two years ago, his name wasn't Oliver Schtram, Oliver von Schtradius, that was his real name, also the name of the head of a duke family which hold a right to inherit the throne, when he was indeed a noble, he had an objection toward the way commoners were seen as nothing than a target of nobles' exploitation, with Earl Shide's nobles and commoners' relation as his ideal, he desperately tried to improve his citizens' livelihood, commoners' child were also able to attending school, for the commoners whose financial affairs weren't improved, and for the children who were working rather than attending school, that ideal wasn't realized yet but, to realizing that he was desperately trying his best to search for a way to assist them day and night, with a cheap livelihood compared to their neighboring territory, Shkradius territory's circumstance was become a subject at the outskirt area, dear, how about you take a rest soon, ah, Ariaha, well this area's harvest is scarce compared to another area, so I just thought is there any way to cope with it, looking at Oliver's estate who was still working at feudal lord's mansion in Shkradius territory, his wife, Aria, inquired that, she was wearing a loose night dress, 
and her stomach was swelling a bit. It's good to work for the citizens but I'm worried with your health. Ha ha, you also should pay full attention to your health. Oliver said that while gently caressing his wife's stomach. Since we are finally receiving this treasure after all. Foo foo, I understand, dear. As a couple of Empire's nobles, Oliver was a very devoted husband. Without any concubine he was very loving his wife, Arya and Arya loved Oliver too. The harmonious circumstance was famed even among citizens, as an empire's noble. Their popularity among citizens were unusually high. Easy to talk and popular, their popularity as feudal lord and also noble were high. There were many peoples who admired that kind of shktradius territory, peoples who were living at a territory with harsh livelihood, they were wishing to migrate towards shktradius territory. And then, of course there were people who didn't amused by the citizens who wished to migrate, they were the nobles of their own respective territory. Empire's nobles were usually see commoners as nothing than an exploitation subject, so if the commoners were decreased then that means the tax revenue would be decreased accordingly. And so those feudal lords were prohibiting migration, prohibit them went towards Shktradius territory. But, whether they didn't concerned by that prohibition, there were many people who disregard that prohibition and migrating towards Shktradius territory. Since they were similarly inside empire's territory, they couldn't suppress citizens' flow of migration. Then, not just feudal lords, the other dukes who also hold the same right to inherit the throne were also bore unpleasant sentiment toward Oliver. With the increase of citizens the tax revenue would be increased too, and so their financial power which magnificently increased further. The increase of tax revenue would similarly mean the increase of his contribution toward empire, it seemed he was a step ahead at emperor election. If that was left as it is, Olive may become the emperor. If that was the case, since he was harboring citizens' precedence policy, they may lost the deserved favor which they always get thus far. They thought that they had covered it properly but, their thought were dominated. The one who took advantage of their thought, was a duke who at that time wasn't had the right to inherit the throne yet. Harold von Richmond. Everyone, thanks for coming here. Wa, wow. Duke Richmond Sama, you seem in good spirit. Ah, you don't need to be so formal. More importantly, I have something to ask to all of you but. Yes, please order us anything. Shktradius, I want you to summon him to Imperial Capital. Duke Shktradius. Right? Yes, you are peoples whose citizens were stolen by Shktradius right? Th, that is. Ah. I don't have any intention to blame you. Yes, Shktradius. Do you think Shktradius is an eyesore? Of course. For him to stole our citizens and use them to fill his own pocket, I'm very detest him. I thought so too, with that he could increase the tax revenue to the empire, increase his contribution toward empire, and he also would got a higher valuation from imperial noble. Damn vestment who had their own territories. The hell with evaluation without aware of our hardship. Right. Imperial nobles were noble who had their own territory, vestment nobles. When nobles who managed their own territory were busy to exploit and live extravagantly, imperial nobles' job were different, to ascertain their previous territory, imperial nobles served as a vestment noble. Moreover, even with citizens' precedence policy, Oliver himself was got living annuity from the empire, so he didn't know any pain nor harsh. And with a high assessment from those vestment nobles, that means, if we left it as it is, Shktradius may become the next emperor you know, th, that, if that person becomes the emperor, isn't that mean he would apply that citizen's precedence policy, if that happened, that would be troublesome right, we are a chosen person, we shouldn't permit that injustice, therefore, I want you to make a fake summon for Shktradius to imperial capital, then at that time I'll launch a plan to overthrow him, is that true, yes, that's why you should try to hold Shktradius at Imperial Capital as long as possible. You could use any reason to do it. T.O. That order from Harold, those nobles whose heads were clouded by greed were starting to thought about some way to hold Shktradius at Imperial Capital as long as possible. Q. Kuku, Shktradius. This is your end. Harold was laughing without minding that those nobles there might saw it. Then, several days after those nobles assembly, there was a contact from those nobles to Oliver's territory. His success to manage his territory and also increase the tax revenue. There was a request for him to teach his ability. Then, see you later. Yes. Please be careful. Ha ha ha, you know about my magic skill right? I could even easily beat any demon which armies couldn't defeat you know. Nevertheless, as a wife I will still be worried. Fufu, 
Thank you. I'll be adequately careful. You too. Okay? Yes, I understand. Being sent off by Arya, Oliver went toward Imperial Capital. Neighboring nobles were also approving his ideality. If he spread his ideal at Imperial Capital, citizens' livelihood also might become better, and the Empire might advancing further. He went to Imperial Capital with that kind of thought. Shktradius mansion at Imperial City was visited by many nobles every day. Then while listening to Oliver about the way to increase the tax revenue, they were looking at him with admiration. Oliver felt their response. He thought that the Empire might change. He even spent his break to prolong his stay at Imperial Capital. The nobles who came to listen to his speech, when they left Duke Shktradius mansion they were abusing him by said you damn shameless man who don't have nobles pride. Without he noticed it. Then, at the time Oliver was staying at Imperial Capital, there was a certain incident which frequently happened at Shktradius territory. The incident about the disappearance of the citizen one after another. With young woman and kid as the victims, they disappeared weren't just at night, but also at daytime. With that, the citizens, whether it kids, wife and girl, they were terrorized by anxiety, and grew distrust toward Oliver who didn't take any action regarding that incident. Then at a certain day, there was a certain man came to Shktradius city. You, may I have a second? Why, yes. What is it? Suddenly called by a man who wore a fine cloth, the citizen was nervous. The citizen thought that perhaps that man was at least a high government officer or a noble. He never thought that he would be called by such person. You don't need to be that nervous, there's something I want to ask but. Yes. What is it possibly? Actually, I'm a military police from Imperial Capital. Since there were many human abduction happened here, I got an information that there were many peoples who were captured and turned into a slave. You. Do you know anything about it? Who? Human abduction? Do you have any idea about it? Being inquire that. The citizen was telling him about the incident which happened recently. Why, yes. Actually, recently there were many incident about the disappearance of girls and kids. It make everyone anxious. Disappearance incident. That's it. Nevertheless, why does the military police from Imperial Capital? It is actually a secret but. Actually, it seems this incident is related to this town's feudal lord, Fay. Feudal Lord Sama, SSST, you're too loud. The citizen man couldn't believe that. The feudal Lord Sama who tried his best to support the commoner, there's no way he would assist such kind of thing, so he thought. Duke Shkradius at this territory was take a policy which treat the commoner kindly right? Yes, thanks to him, we could live sufficiently. That was a bait. Bait? Yes. He assembled the citizens from neighboring territory by using a good treatment toward commoner's bait. In fact, it seems he was capturing the assembled commoner and then selling them. No, no way. That. Just try think about it. Do you really think that an empire's noble would treat commoner kindly? If, if you say so. At first he didn't to believe that, but, he indeed never thought that an empire's nobles would treat a commoner kindly. The more he got the explanation, he started to think that the military police's word was true. We're going to stay at this city for a while. So if there's something happened just tell me. I, I understand. After said that, the military policeman left. He also fell for it. So he thought, while his mouth was inclined, like that, Harold who named himself as a military police was spread that false information inside the city, those rumor even spread till outskirt villages, raising citizens' suspicion. Nevertheless the people's abduction was still happened. Because of Harold's work, since the information about that incident wasn't reached feudal lord's mansion, of course there was no way they would do any search. T.O. the feudal lord who didn't take any action even at this kind of time, the citizen's irritation was reaching its peak. Oliver was spending his time at imperial capital without slightest aware that such a thing was happened at his territory. But, since his wife's parturition was come near, of course Oliver decided to temporarily returning to his territory. The nobles who tried to restrain him at Imperial Capital were thought that two months should be enough, so they let him return. Then, they informed Harold about that, and his plan was proceeding to the final stage. When Oliver departed from Imperial Capital, the military policeman was called out to the citizens' men. Everyone, please listen to me. We finally able to grasp a trace of this human abduction. It seems there would be a carriage which come to this city soon. I want to seize that carriage but, 
Would you cooperate with us? The citizens whose irritation was at its peak was attracted by that words. Those men were walking while snickering when being guided by the man who called himself as a military police to the location where they would seize the carriage. Without long a carriage with Shktradius Grest was approaching them. When the man who called himself a military police asked them to stop, the carriage was readily stopped. I'm going to inspect your luggage. This is Duke's carriage you know? Do you think such a thing would be permitted? This is an investigation order from His Majesty Emperor. I won't allow any objection. All that he said was just a lie. His Majesty Emperor's investigation order was also non-existence. But the citizens who were intoxicated by fury couldn't realize that at all. Then, when they checked the luggage. Oi. What's it? That are goods which should be delivered to Duke's armor. Inside the luggage tray of the carriage. The women and kids who they thought had disappeared. Those citizens were the while being tied by a rope. The citizens who saw that was convicted. The military policeman's words was true. We were a prey which were lured by a delicious bait. With that, the citizens couldn't control their rage. Avenge Oliver. They could only thought such a thing. Why did this kind of illegal transaction was using a carriage with Duke family's crest and brazenly carried the slaves? Why did the military police ask the citizens to accompany them to seizing this carriage? and also the fact that he was actually telling them a false information, no one realized that. Watching the citizens who were trembled in anger and returned to attack the feudal lord's mansion, the military policemen were laughing. Common sure stupid right? It can't be helped, they never received any proper lesson thus far after all. Well, that's why they are so easy to be manipulated by nobles like us. The peoples there were nobles first son or lower young men peoples who were called and promised a brilliant future by Harold. When they were chatting between themselves while seeing of the citizen, there was someone who suddenly asked, by the way, what should we do with them? Ah, how about get rid of them after we fully enjoy them? You're right. For them who saw commoner as nothing than an exploitation subject, they didn't have any intention to give any mercy to the captured citizens. Then, the men who were returning to the town were calling out to another citizens, and raiding toward feudal lord's mansion. At that time, to give the souvenir which he just bought for his wife who has been quite a while since the last time they met, and a toy for his soon-to-born child, Oliver get his way back to his territory. Then, when he saw Shktradius town, he noticed an unusual event. W.H. What? What is that? The feudal lord's mansion. There was a smoke flowed out from the house where his wife should be in. Dot wa, oi. The horse. Lend me the horse. Something bad has happened. If I don't return quickly. Oliver who couldn't understood what happened. Without he realized it he rushed come out from the carriage. Switched to a horse which was rode by one of the guard. And quickly went to feudal lord's mansion. Oliver who make the horse ran at its full speed eventually arrived at the town and vigorously entered the town like that. Normally, riding a horse with full speed inside a town with a dense citizen was unthinkable but. With the current circumstance he had to time to care about such a thing. When noticing Oliver, the citizens were shouting something. There were even some who threw something. Among those citizens, there were even some peoples who tried to block his way. While avoiding those citizens, Oliver kept tried their horse. Even while bewildered by the state of the city which was completely different from at the time he went toward imperial capital, Oliver didn't have any intention to stop the horse. Then, when he finally arrived and looked at the state of the feudal lord's mansion, Oliver grew pale. There were flames blazed here and there. When Oliver noticed the deceased gatekeeper near the gate, he quickly rushed toward the mansion. There, the situation was as if it was just traded by robbers. The previously beautiful interior was destroyed, burned. He also could saw the figure of the collapsed servant here and there. Oliver was confused by the situation which was completely different from the time he went to the imperial capital but, he quickly recovered his mind and quickly rushed toward his wife's room. Then, when he finally arrived at his wife's room, several men were there, and below them, Arya, Arya, while shouting that. He blew away the men at his wife's room with magic. He didn't have any consideration toward those citizens. Oliver was running toward Arya, his wife who was collapsed at pool of blood, and hugged her body. As long as that person was alive they would emit magical energy from inside of their body but, he couldn't feel magical energy from Arya's body. The magical energy from the child inside her body also. No way, Arya. Arya, please open your eyes. Didn't I've told you to be careful with your health? To protect our treasure, Arya, Arya, please. Oliver couldn't believe that, 
he didn't want to accept the reality before him. Why something like this is happened? The people's here, aren't they citizens who I've protected thus far? Why? Why did they do such a ruthless thing? I can't understand it at all. Why? Why did you do this king of thing? Thereupon, the blown away men were unsteadily stood up, and abused Oliver in jeers. The hell with why? Isn't it happened because of your cruel atrocity? He couldn't understood what that man just said. Cruel atrocity? What? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. Everyone already know about it. About your intention to lure us with your kind words. About you capturing and sold the gathered citizen one by one. Everything. We already know everything. Oliver couldn't understand what the man mean. He also didn't has that kind of intention. What is that? Why did it turn like that? Don't screw with us. I've saw it. The carriage with your family crest which carried those captured women and kids. Since I was there as a part of the military police's group when they seized it. Dot part of the military police's group? A commoner like you? That's right. Dot don't you think that was strange? There's no way military police would ask citizens to accompany them to an arrest task you know. Th. That's. Moreover. A carriage with my family crest was carrying a salve? Do you really think something like that is possible? Dot. Indeed. Would he brazenly abduct and carried the captured slave? Does a military police really would ask a commoner like us to accompany them? He finally realized that after being told so, Oliver wasn't in the feudal lord mansion. Just now, is he just returned from somewhere? Wasn't it impossible to be done by someone who wasn't inside the town? Perhaps we have been deceived about that. They finally realized it when they realized that the gathered citizens there were aware that they had been deceived. We have done something severe. It was already late to regret it. They already killed Aria. Now. There's no way return. Foo fa foo. Ah ha 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 ha. Oliver suddenly burst into laughter like a madman. Then. An unusual amount of magical energy was starting to gathered. At that time, Oliver was quickly convicted. It was noble's deed. Preparing peoples to disguise as military police. Preparing a carriage with a duke family's crest and deceiving the citizens thus far. The one who was able to done such a thing was none other than a noble. About the reason that he was invited to the imperial city was also actually to stalling time to launch this scheme. About the nobles who came to listen to his speech that actually didn't approving his ideal at all. Also, about the citizen who was easily being manipulated by those nobles scheme. Everything. He finally understand every of it. Ah, I was really stupid right? For the peoples who return kindness with evil, to seriously trying my best thus far to improving this empire which let those nobles schemed such a worthless thing as they pleased. While saying that, the amount of the gathered magical energy by Oliver was not lessening even a bit. Oliver was indeed originally an excellent magician but, that was obviously not an amount of magical energy which normally could be controlled by someone. The citizens who saw that spectacle were begging for forgiveness to Oliver. Hey, Fay, feudal Lord Sama, please forgive us. Forgive? Forgiving the fool who committed this foolish act? Just what kind of joke you just said? The citizens were despaired when they heard those words. And then, Oliver also said to those citizen, There's no way I'll forgive it right. You folk too. The nobles who manipulated you too. The Empire who let those guys do as they please too. Everything. Everything. There's no way I would forgive every of it. While shouting that. The gathered magical energy was increased further. The citizen who were near that magical energy were blown away. And groveling at the floor. Glancing at the magical energy which was gathered by Oliver. Being imbued with his hatred toward the incompetent Empire. The vicious nobles. And the fool commoner. The magical energy was. Turn into black. A. 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 Triple A. Watching and felt that despair spectacle, those citizen couldn't say a word. Finally, after covering the feudal lord's mansion, the gathered magical energy was overflowing to the city. Then, everything should just perished. Dot the magical energy exploded. The explosion which occurred at the feudal lord's mansion which was located at the very center of the town, create an unusual powerful blast. That blast was blowing away everything inside the town. It even swallowed the outskirt area, there. It was unbelievable that a town was previously there. That spectacle, it was unthinkable that previously buildings were existed and peoples were living there. Then, there was only Oliver stood at the center of it by himself. His eyes were glowing red. Kiha. Kiha ha 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 ha. Please wait for me blue Sithuar Empire. Everything, Emperor, nobles and also the commoner, 
since I'm going to destroy every of you after all. Then, Oliver was erasing himself, and appeared at Earlshide Kingdom as Oliver Shkdrom. The devils who had heard Shkdrom's story, were lost at his gruesome past story. Then, they finally understood why Shkdrom destroyed everything, not just the nobles but he also didn't spare the commoner. Betrayed by his cherished citizen, disposed by his cherished nobles. That was why not just the nobles who instigated that. He also wouldn't tolerate the foolish citizen who were easily deceived and snatching his dearest person. The peoples who left just now also act as they pleased after all, even though I've spared not to kill them but, how troublesome. They thought that they were easily permitted to left but, they were still the same foolish commoner who Shkdrom detested after all. Even though they got that power from Shkdrom, they misunderstood that that those power were their true power, moreover they thought that they might be able to unify the world by using that power. He just didn't want to be together with such foolish people. Did they even understand it? What would happen after they unify the world? Shkdrom had several reasons why he didn't took the world unification route. The biggest reason was because he didn't interested but, there was still something that he hadn't confirmed it yet. That was about, whether devil could make a child or not. It had been two years since he become a devil, as the second devil at humankind history, to get rid of the sense of the previously appeared devil he couldn't prove that clinically. What if they could make a child? The world would end up being ruled by devils at just one generation. Even if they could make a child, would that child become a devil, or perhaps a human? If they become a devil then how about the next child? Devils weren't something that naturally appeared by itself. He couldn't imagine that it might be possible to continue it by blood heritage. He didn't want to do such troublesome thing when he hadn't grasped everything yet. They didn't understand anything right? Since they were originally a foolish commoner after all. The devil who just left, were peoples who luckily didn't kill by Shkdrom. They remained devils. They were drenched in cold sweat. Alright. How about we observe them for a while? What kind of foolish act they do, and how they were being subjugated. Don't you think that would become an interesting show? Those devils were scared when they saw Shkdrom said that while looked so contented. And they looking with a sympathy eye. Among them, Arya was determining something, and decided to propose a certain experiment. Then, several days after parting with Shkdrom, the left devils were raiding the nearest neighboring country, Suido Kingdom. While Augusto's investiture ceremony was held in the imperial city, in the Swedes kingdom that was close to the former empire territory, the soldiers who were in charge of patrolling still worked like always. Because of the empire who originally had ambitions to bring down the neighboring countries, the surveillance soldiers on the lookout always had a watchful eye, remembering the threat of the devil that made empire's imperial city fall in the blink of an eye. The surveillance system had been strengthened compared to before. For when a devil attacks us, we have taken measures such as securing evacuation routes at the time of emergency and installing communication devices lent from Ulshide Kingdom. Nevertheless, how long do you think we can endure if we are actually attacked? Let's see. The Imperial Army didn't hold for half a day, right? Dot. All said and done, we have to make the residents evacuate. That's right. Ha. Huh. At that time, as they, patrol unit of the Swedes Kingdom sighed towards the desperate situation and were talking to the resident, oi. That, d don't tell me, the surveillance soldier who had been overlooking the surroundings through a telescope from the top of the walls, turned his gaze up. A signal bullet was rising. This was also lent from the Earlshide Kingdom, and since the communication device is fixed, it cannot be moved for patrolling use. If you found a devil or demon, even if you ran with a horse, it would be too late to make a contact. From there, I do not know what kind of mechanism it is, but when I activate the magic tool, bullets are launched, and a signal bullet that emits light so that it can be seen from a distance was also lent. Its color was, dot. It's a red signal bullet. It was red to represent a devil's eyes. Although the patrolling soldiers could not understand what happened for a moment, when they came back to their senses, they started to move at once. Confirm red signal bullets. It seems that a devil has come. Immediately go to the royal castle, and make a recommendation to evacuate all residents. Roger that. Because we had simulations in preparation for emergency repeatedly, instructions were transmitted promptly. Signal bullet have already been launched. It seems there is no doubt about it. Shit. There is no way such a thing really happens. I saw it. It is a group of devils. A group of devils. In a long history of human beings, until the last year, 
there was only one occurrence of observing a group of devils, in front of the emergence of a group of devils that was like a bad joke. The soldiers of the Swedes' kingdom troops cannot yet accept the reality. The scale? Do you know the scale? The number of devils is approximately about 100. There are a hundred of devils together. The Swedes' kingdom soldiers were prepared for death. The demons? How many demons are there? That is, what's wrong? Is it countless? Desperate words also came out. But, it is only a group of devils. I cannot see the figure of a demon. Only devils. It is different from the information. The devil is supposed to bring demons. But, there is none? Well, desperate situation changed to the worst situation. Attention all. Defend the castle wall. At least. Do not let the residents get injured. A commander of the Swedes' royal army issued an instruction and the troops aligned outside the wall at a time. You absolutely mustn't let this castle wall get passed through. Hey, send a request for help to Earlshide Kingdom. Also, a request for relief. As I say so, I send a messenger. While running, the messenger muttered, even though we can report quickly, I think that it will take days for Earlshide to come. Although everyone thought the same thing, nevertheless. Right now we have no choice, we need the power of the hero to beat the devils. Swedes Kingdom soldiers put out a request to Earlshide, betting on such a ray of hope. I borrow the defense's magic tools from Earlshide, at least, at least even just stalling, I will do it. Then, the group of devils and the Swedes Kingdom army collided in front of the castle wall. I said something embarrassing during the investiture ceremony and I was too embarrassed to see the face of everyone while I was moving with flying magic. Dot. Ultimate middle. Dot magicians. While thinking that this is stupid, I've already said it out loud. The Earlshide citizens who had gathered over there, probably already engraved that name in their mind because we had called ourselves like this after we jumped out. Dot. From now on, I have to work with this team name. What a heavy cross I got on my back. Oi Shin, you're wriggling since a little earlier. Are you feeling bad? You. It is because of you. Suddenly saying to think about the team name. PFFT. No. I think it is a good name. Don't say it while holding a laugh. You're a member of that team too. Isn't it? Okay. I think it is not bad. We made walls of air around ourselves and were flying through the sky while connecting a sound bypass with wind magic so that we can hear each other's voices. Since we often flew after developing flying magic. We are used to moving and talking by wind magic. If you fly in the sky you can move several times faster than if you move by carriage on the ground. Even though communication can be done in a moment, it can't be done for moving. As devils have already appeared in the Swedes kingdom. As I need to head to the site as soon as possible, I use the fastest possible way to arrive. In such a case, it would have been good if we set a point to open a gate to the Swedes kingdom. But I did not know where the devils may appear but isn't actually it a good name, I like it. I feel more and more confident when I'm with Rin. Mew, pouting sound. That's rude. Ha. Huh. Everyone, I guess it has already penetrated their mind. I have no choice but to give up. Rather than that, Shindono, we're about to cross the border between Elshide and the Swedes kingdom. Please be careful. Thought told me to be cautious. Oh, we are at the border already? Because we are flying in the sky. It's amazing. If it were a carriage, it would take days. Maria is also surprised at that speed. I haven't been there so I don't know. It is a good thing to be fast, as with the delay from receiving the message from the Swedes, if we're slow, there will be more damage. But, devil, is it? I'm kinda nervous, even though I came to be able to beat disaster class alone. It's fine, don't worry. Maria is getting stronger than a devil. I wonder about that. Isn't it a praise for a girl to be stronger than a devil? Maria has a subtle face. I too will do my best. Sicily wants to see the people who were injured by demons. Yeah, that's right. Then I too will do my best to help as many people as possible. Yeah, I count on you. We decided the repartition of roles before arriving at the Swedes kingdom. Me, Gus, Tony, Julius. Mark are equipped with a vanguard vibrating sword. Sicily is in charge of the healing of the injured, and the rest is in charge of support magic. Mark, please don't overdo it. I know, you don't need to worry, because there is Walford and the others. Dot dot R. Mark? Question mark because there is no one that said it, someone is thinking. Dot damn it. They're just flirting everywhere and anywhere. The mumbled voice full of hatred from Maria can be heard. Ma, Maria, calm down. 
Besides, there are too much Ryujiud boys in this team. They are too much for girls. Something was wrong with Maria. Certainly. Only Thor and Julius don't have. I, have a fiancé. Me, too, had a fiancé de Gazeru. Everyone can just blow up. You are, Maria exploded. Kuso, just wait, you devils. I'll vent all of my anger on you. Un I can understand the tension. The result is good, because our enemy is a group of devils, it will be a serious thing if you are nervous and cannot put out all your strength, so it's a good thing. Let's rampage like Maria by all means. Hey, the Swedes kingdom has come into view. We turned our eyes on Gus words. Indeed, I can see a big city surrounded by walls. Is that the Swedes kingdom? And magic fluttered in front of the castle wall of the kingdom and I saw a barrier magic defense preventing it. Are we? That magic barrier. A.A. It's a defense magic tool you made. All members, prepare to launch the magic tools. Immediately after issuing a request for relief to the Ulshide Kingdom under the attack of the Magin, the Swedes Kingdom is ready to launch the defensive magic tool, which is another magic tool that was lent by Ulshide Kingdom. They only knew general defense magic tools, and although they were loans from Ulshide, at this point they did not expect it to prevent a devil's attack. Come on, magic tool launch. The magicians of Swedes Kingdom soldiers started the defense magic tools all at once. Then, wow, what? Are you serious? It's preventing. It's preventing attacks by devils. Amazing. What a splendid magic tool. It's not a time to be impressed. Even if it prevents attacks by devils it has no meaning if you can't repel it. All units. Attack the devils with all your strength. Roger that. Magic division. Magical preparation. Shoot. From desperate circumstances, after they found out the magic devices can prevent the devils attacks, their morale went up in a breath. Then, while sometimes sewing in the gap of the magic tools and getting inside the wall, they somehow managed to hold down the devils and keep the front line. Endure. If you stand it, the heroes of Elshide will come and defeat the devils. Until then, Endure it. Oh, 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 they were longing for the arrival of Shin from their heart. Now that I think about it, Uncle disordered a lot of defense magic tools. Are they given out to each country? Even so, the amount will not be enough, so sneak up between the magical barriers and attack the devils who also passed. Certainly, several magic has landed in the kingdom. We must hurry. Everyone, full speed. We will screen out the devil's attack and destroy them. Oh, oh, oh. and when I started magical searching. Dangerous. Someone is being chased by a devil. Two humans with ordinary magical powers, are being chased by the devil's magical power. Hurry up. If we hurry up, we will be in time. Passing over the wall at high speed, some people who seem to be Swedes Kingdom's soldiers were watching here, but we could not afford it. And when we reached the enemy's location, no, ooh, ooh, ah, ha, 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 hurra, hurra. You will get hit if you don't run properly, you know? No, stop it. Where n mama a eh? the devil is chasing a mother holding a child, which made her flee slowed down, while releasing small magic, like a beast playing with its prey. Horror, horror. I will get you. Stop, please stop it. Ah ha ha ha. If you do not run away quickly, I'll kill you. No. E. Why you? The mother who fled while holding a child looks back at us. I. It was the place where I dropped a kick on the devil chasing the parent and child, and landed. Then I asked the mother that was watching the one who kicked the devil. Are you okay? Are you injured? Why yes. I am fine. Ah no. Um. You are? Shintono. Suddenly giving a drop physic from the sky. Do you know that it is reckless? My bad. I really wanted to bite. A. Hey, Eno. Oh. Please be relieved, lady, we are the ones who have been dispatched from the Urshide Kingdom. Someone, please evacuate her to a safe place. Thor came coming down from the sky, explained to the mother and called for a soldier in the area. Yes, lady, here. A, Arigato goes Amos you. After the soldiers and mother child ran away, they looked around again. The castle walls are not completely broken yet, thanks to the magical tools. However, as pointed out by Gus, some demons passed through the gap between the barriers, invading the royal capital. It was seen from here that some buildings were broken and few soldiers and inhabitants collapsed. At that sight, I became full of rage like never before. Swede citizens and the devils. I am Erlshide Kingdom Crown Prince, Augusto von Erlshide. Gus and everyone else were not on the ground and were on a high building around. And Gus pronounced his words with the application of wind magic, declaring arrival of relief. 
Swedes kingdoms citizens, don't worry we got the power to overthrow the devils and got to this place, let's cooperate with the kingdom soldiers and surely repel the devils. Tio encourage people who were attacked by devils, Gus said. Then, the devils will feel despair. Among us, there is the hero Merlin Walford's grandson, the new hero, Shin Walford that has the overwhelming power to subjugate the devils. Don't you think that there is still a winning chance? So, Gus declared. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. A big cheer was heard from around the royal capital, near the center of the kingdom. I guess everyone is evacuating around there. I, although I was told to declare something in a loud voice as always, I did not feel like that this time. Devils, prepare yourselves, because I will not go easy on you. I also made my voice as loud as Gus declaring war on devils. After what they did, I don't have a plan to forgive them. Bastard, what are you doing? The devil who was kicked earlier finally got up and barked toward me. What are you doing? That's my line. You bastard too. What did you do here? Eh? I'm a devil. I have power so what's bad about it? The standing devil while laughing said that it is a privilege of a devil. It is just a person that got drunk with the power that he gained as a devil, Gus. What should I do to him? Of course. Isn't it clear? I asked Gus at the top of the building. Then Gus said, it is natural. Destroy it. Roger that. Gus decided resolutely, former human beings, but now devils. Moreover, it is a group of people who think that it is natural to toy with non-powerful civilians. T.O. beat them into pulp. There is no hesitation in that. Huh? Do you think that a human being can compete against a devil like me? Noisy. I have to kill a lot. I do not have time to beat around the bush. While saying so, I head to the nearest devil. I intend to attack with magic, but it's too late. Goa, uh, Thor that was behind the devil, brought a preemptive flame magic attack. Nice. Thor. I slash the vibrating sword to the devil fainting in agony from the magic. How do you feel? What is the feeling when you get beaten up by a human? So, Sonna. Bakana, muttered the devil. As he separated vertically into two. After looking down on the devil who was just subjugated, I searched for the next devil with searching magic. It seems that everyone else has started their battle. The number of devils hanging on the search area is decreasing. Sicily, towards the healing of the injured, someone. Please bring her to the place where there are injured people. Shouting so, a soldier who was nearby and staring at us fighting came to me. Why yes. This way please. Shinkan, please be careful. A. Sicily too. Yes. Led by a soldier. Sicily went to where the injured were. You're on the way. The magic blade of wind burst along with the voice of Sicily, and the devil was shredded. Dot. The soldier who is leading her is stunned. Of course it will be like that. In the eyes of an adult, a girl like that subjugated a devil, in a single blow, without even chanting. This seems to be okay. With this, I can have peace of mind. I will subjugate it. I'll continue to subjugate the devils with search magic until the end. Thor. I am fine. So please turn around to everyone's support. Okay, Shindono, good luck. A, Thor as well. As I said so, I took a hit from a devil. Although devils attack by magic, the magic barriers easily hinder it. These guys it is much weaker than a cart's impact. Damn, how is it possible? I don't understand why. We are devils. Ha, huh? you can do quite well in this level. You, damn. In order to subdue the devils, I continued to run around the royal capital. In the middle of that, Every time I find the remains, corpse, of the soldiers and the residents along the way, anger always swelled up. We became a devil to unify the world. Do you think we will die in such a place? What a disproportionate dream, you asshole. I truncated the devil with the vibrating sword. Damn it. The setup barrier in the walls are so hard. How could it turn out like this? Such a thing, you don't need to know. Gah. Be bastard. I shot him with a fire bullet. World unification. Is it the devil Shktrom's purpose? Such a thing, for humanity's sake, I will not let it happen. In this place, I will crush that ambition. You go. Oh no. Oh no. E. e. Ah. It seems that Gus and the others are doing well. In accordance to the role assignment decided earlier, they use magic as preemptive attack, then stab it with vibrating sword. There were even devils who were subjugated with magic alone. Those devils can be subjugated without taking much time. When I thought so. Retreat. Let's retreat. The devils shouted. Then the magical power of the devils started moving out of the city towards the outside. Moreover, because they are scattering, 
It is difficult to catch them all. Damn. They escaped. I shot an explosion magic directly towards the devils who tried to escape. It was aimed at the devils who jumped into the air to jump over the wall. Nah. Sonna Barker. You oh oh. Damn. The explosion magic exploded while involving several devils. A. Hey, damn it. Somebody was able to escape. Some of the devils who entered the walls and some of the devils who had been pushing outside the wall escaped. It did not result in annihilation. I missed almost all of the devils that were still outside of the wall and it caused my face to be distorted. You uh, 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 exclamation mark. The soldiers who were around shouted out, repelled. We repelled it. Amazing. The hero who subjugated the devils is the real thing. Thank you, Earlshide. Thank you. I, who regretted because near half of them were able to escape, got praised by the soldier of Swede's kingdom. They repelled devils and were relieved that the damage was minimal. But, I, I'm sorry. I let the devils who were outside escaping. Moreover, if I had came sooner, the victim could have been fewer. I felt regret and remorse. I wish I had connected the gate to all the possibilities. That way, I can came earlier and the make the victim fewer. No, no. This is enough, right? That was rather early. Wasn't it? I thought that it would take several days, to come in just a couple of hours. Were you doing an expedition around here? No, I came from the kingdom of Earlshide. Dot. He seems to be wondering that the time until the arrival from the first report was short because we flew through the sky. Sky. Ah. Now that I think about it, I saw something flying. A. Eh? You can fly in the sky? W. Well. Yes. When that word registered in their mind, they were stunned. I got used to that reaction. Shin. Are you alright? A. Eh? How about you guys? I am fine. I am not injured. Me too. Strangely. I am too. Perhaps. Nobody is injured isn't it? Everyone gathered one after another. Only Cicely is not here, because she has turned to the healing of the injured. The position is also confirmed with searching enemies. Everyone was okay. Ee, e, honestly, because devils were our opponent, I thought I'd struggle harder. They were surprisingly weak. We weak. The words of Alice. The smallest one among us made the Swedes kingdom's army silent. Everyone is getting used to this kind of reaction. By the way, who is the person responsible in here? Why yes, I am. I am Augusto von Elscheid. I want to declare that we repelled the devils. Why your highness Augusto? Am I rude? Right now, it is okay. Then, can I declare it? Yes, please. Is he the captain of the unit around here? With the permission of the declaration from that person, Gus deployed magic that makes sound loud again. No no chant. E? Prince Sama? Crown Prince. I saw it. Your Highness Augusto trampled over the devil. Although Gus had an attractive face, somehow he can utter honorable words quite well. Citizens of Swede's kingdom. I am the crown prince of Elshide kingdom. Augusto von Elshide. Everyone should be relieved. The devils are. Reaching that word, Gus took a glance here. We, ultimate magicians successfully repelled the devils. Dot. Oh I. What kind of loud declaration is that? Ultimate middle dot magicians. Oh Amazing. Ultimate middle dot magicians. Thank you. Ultimate magicians. Swedes kingdoms soldiers and citizens, shouted out that name. Stop it. Don't continuously say that out loud. Due to this declaration, great cheers were echoing in the Swedes kingdom, along with the chorus of team name. I. I was despairing that not only in the Earlshide kingdom but also in the Swedes kingdom. The team name had been known. It's not a time to feel depressed, Shin. Whose fault is it? Whose? Do not say something much like Melinda Dono, rather than that. Did you notice it? Such a thing. That there is no Shkdrom, and I could not see the figure of a demon. It mean, it is just the beginning. And nearly half of it escaped. That's it, certainly. The voice that ordered to retreat earlier was not the voice of Shkdrom. In other words, this raid becomes a solitary behavior of those who became demons by Shkdrom. Shkdrom gives full authority to attack Swede's kingdom, or exclamation mark Gus. Go back to Earlshide at once, exclamation mark I see. It was a distraction. It is too easy. That possibility is high. Understood. Let's back a raid in Swede's kingdom with just, only, devils. There will be a gap to attack Curlshide. Damn it. I was not thinking about that possibility. Because I was too impatient, I brought only Gus back and returned to the Earlshide kingdom with Gate. Please be safe, your highness. Wolford San, what happened? The devils. E. Question mark. Did the devils come to attack? A. The devils didn't come here. E. E. 
since your highness and co, were out, there is nothing that happens but, I definitely thought that raid was just diversion, and the true aim is here, rather than that, how about the one that is in Swede's kingdom, dot, relieved, although there is some damage, the devils got repelled, oh oh, exclamation mark, I connected the gate to the usual security guards place but dot dot the guard in there was said that there were no devil s raids, and they cheered on the report that we repelled devils who appeared in the Swedes kingdom, Wolf had sand that lead ultimate magicians, I will report to the majesty immediately, then I will declare it to the people, so everyone can be relieved, a, eh, we will return to the Swedes kingdom, please do that, dot, the name of the team had been engraved, I felt hopeless for that, it is no use crying over spilled milk, I just have to accept it, although I don't quite understand the action of the devils, we are leaving everyone in the Swedes kingdom, I decided to go back at once because there is a post treatment as well, a, eh, your highness, Shinkan, where have you been, suddenly leaving like that, e, Erlshide, a, eh, to report, right, yeah, that's right, what happened, your highness, leave that for later, Rather than that, would you go to pick up Claude and report to the royal castle? Hi. Then, Shin, please. Okay. Everyone used flying magic and floats in the air. While seeing the stunned face of the Swedes kingdom's soldiers, first we go to pick up Sicily who is healing the injured. We already know the location with searching magic. We arrived at the building where the injured are housed and we got down from the sky. E? Who? There is no way to fly in the sky. Is it a devil? Calm down. I am Augusto von Elscheid, and this is Sin Walford, members of Ultimate Magicians. In that word, a soldier who was guarding the injured facility looked at the other. Eh, although you say such a thing, I will not be deceived. Like flying in the sky, just devils that can do it. What does this soldier says? Does he not know the characteristics of the devil? Shin, it is your fault that me too recognized as devil, isn't you that instructed to fly in Tesky? I just said please, why you, oi, what are you playing around, a soldier shouted with his shaking voice and body, let's explain it already, A, eh, forgive me, by the way, do you know the characteristics of a devil, characteristics of a devil, if I am not wrong, with a devastating magical power, the eyes is, it seems that he finally understand there, and also don't you think that Cicely von Claude who came here earlier had the same clothes, in indeed the same clothes as Cicely Sama, the eyes too, are not red, that's mean, until that word, the soldiers quickly on the spot, quick, I am terribly sorry, I was very rude to the hero Sama who saved my country from trouble out of frustration, please, please forgive us with our head alone, it is good that the misunderstanding finally got solved, but the head of a soldier. Rather he told me something that worrying. Do not worry, you did not know our face, I guess it's natural to be alert. That thought that it might be a devil, but trying to defend this place without escaping is a commendable act. Be proud. Why yes, thanks your word. Oh, it had been conciliatory to soldiers of other countries. The soldiers looked at Gus with watery eyes. Then, it is okay to go in, oi, someone please guide me to Sicily Sama place, he said it again, Sicily Sama, somehow, I got a bad feeling, the place where I was taken by the guide soldier was like a hall, it seems that injured people are being housed here, when entering that hall, Sicily Sama, this child wound too, please, please help my husband too, Saint Sama, A, eh, Anno, my injury too, you from earlier had been treated, isn't it, A, eh, Eno, I will check in turn, there was an amazing crowd around Sicily, Sicily Sama, Saint Sama, what is this mess, what is this, hi, after Sicily Sama has arrived in this accommodation facility, seriously injured patients were cured one by one, and many lives were saved, she is very deserved to be called Saint Sama, dot dot somehow, it looks like something tough, for now, if I cannot find a serious patient, I will take Sicily, Sicily, E, A, Shinkan, Sicily, who was puzzled by the people who had pushed her until then, smiled happily when she hear my voice, Oi, Sicily Sama had been called, what? Who had been called by our Sicily Sama, Oi, isn't that man, A, Mo, somehow I feel something is weird, there is curious gaze from people around us as Sicily came to me, Shinkan, are you alright, are there any injuries, it is the usual event touching my body and asked if there are any injuries, I am alright, I don't get hurt although such devils came into a bunch, I know that, but still, I am worried, she embraces me while saying that, a, you, I am Jeel, 
do such outrageous thing. That's right. What the right you have to be embraced by our Saint Sama body. Get away quickly, you bastard. Stop it, you guys. A soldier shouted loudly at the place where I was getting irritated by the cries of men who were crazy about something. E, soldier Sama. But, there is no but. This person is someone who save us from devil's attack. Hero who subjugated the devils. Shin Walford Sama what a rude thing you are saying. Because there is that thing that happens before. The soldier sand desperately defends me. He hero who subjugate the devils. A a. Guy like this is. Isn't there some mistake? Oto. It's around time for me to get angry, right? Please don't say something like that to my husband. Sicily snapped before me. Rather, husband. Question mark. It, it can't be. Dot. A, Eno. Right now still not. But, right now is fiancé please don't say such a thing. Because Sicilia's words, most of the guys who were in the hall feeling despaired. Kaya! Exclamation mark Hero Sama and Saint Sama is couple, right? Walford that? That's right. I heard that before, that hero, Merlin Walford Sama had a grandson, and had subjugated a devil that appear in Elshide Kingdom. A. Somewhat it is romantic. Hero's grandson and Saint Sama as a couple. It is like a story des you wa. Alternately, the females make a fuss. Eno. I'd like to report to Royal Castle soon. Shinkan. Before that, is it good to talk? Somehow Sicily face became dark when she said that. What's wrong? Sicily. Please follow me. When I follow Sicily, in there. Dot. I. There is nothing that I could do. There was a breathless man with a quite serious injury laying down there, and a woman who seems to be his wife or lover that snuggled by his side. That woman saw Sicily. And clung to her. Shisily Sama. Please. My husband. Please help my husband. I will do anything. While she was begging Sicily, her voice became weaker and weaker, until I cannot hear it. Dot. Sorry. I. Cannot do anything anymore. It can't be. It can't be. Dot. Shinkan. Could you see it? A. Before Sicily asking, I had seen conditions of the man. It looked like Sicily had done hemostasis, the stopping of a flow of blood, by healing magic but, the internal organs have been torn. He is lucky to still alive. Sicily, you had done a good job. Such a thing. Dot, dot, I cannot do anything. Even so, it is because of Sicily's healing magic that he is still alive. If it is not there, he is dead a long time ago. When I said that, the man's wife is crying. I think this is impossible even in the previous life's medical technology. But, I will cure him with healing magic. Yes, there is magic in this world. I examine the man's body by ultrasound, ultrasonic wave, exploration magic. Dot. Many internal organs have been torn. You are, it is scratched into a blood vessel close to the heart. Really, you are lucky to still alive. This serious injury. Why is he alive? As soon as he was brought here, I tried to heal him all the time. Dot dot but dot dot he didn't get better at all. I tried to take battle clothes off, but he stopped me. Dot. I am grateful that I give healing magic to the cloak too. I see. Unlike uniforms, I cannot just take off my coat. If a girl suddenly pulls out her clothes, of course, he will stop it. It's okay. Your husband is still alive thanks to Sicily's healing magic. In this case, I blocked the neurotransmission from the neck down so that anesthesia is applied at once. Actually, I do not know the principle of actual anesthesia. I thought it was the same as anesthesia unless the pain was transmitted to the brain. It is a power that work cannot be done without magic. When I anesthetizing this man, it took to restore the damaged in internal organs from the surrounding cells. The same cells as the internal organs to be repaired were cultured and proliferated, and the internal organs were regenerated. First, the healing was completed by restoring the blood vessel closest to the life-threatening heart, then restoring the internal organs, restoring the traumatized skin and restoring the blocked neurotransmission. Looking at the man who healed. Dot yeah, the breathing has stabilized. It's okay now. I was tackled by his wife when I said it was okay now. I received a word of thanks while got embraced by his wife. Compared to when I got a word of thanks because repelling the devils. I am much more happier got a words of thanks by saving a life. After his wife left me and went to her husband. I was hugged by Sicily this time. Thank you. For your help. Thank you. Sicily. Is it because of Sicily that this man was saved? You know? Such a thing. 
There is not. I. I cannot do anything. Sicily begins to overflow with tears while burying her face in my chest. Then. There is no such a thing. The wife of the healed man denied Sicily's words. Isn't this person, using polite word, had said it before? It is because Sicily Samas gave healing magic, if not, he will be dead a long time ago. My husband got saved. There is no mistake about it. It is thanks to Sicily Sama. Okusama. I was the one who finally heals him, but it was definitely Sicily that connected his life until then. Okusan understood it well. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu Sicily Sama. I will never forget this kindness for the rest of my life. Sicily, who left me, responded while shedding tears. No, I only did the obvious thing. It was good to be saved. Sicily Sama, and Okusan looked at me. This man was Shin. Shin Walford, my healing magic's master, hero who subjugated the devil, and Sicily looked at me while wiping her tears, then smiled with a nice smile. My future husband Desu. Oh then, it mean that my husband got saved by married couple, husband and wife, hero Sama and Saint Sama. I will be proud of it for my lifetime. After a leave that her husband got saved, she can say it lightly. Accuse I had saved your husband life but the healing is from his cells. That I gathered most of them from his meats. I think that his physical strength is considerably low right now. Let him eat a lot of nutritious foods first. After calm down, please do exercise and restore his fitness. Well then, I have to quickly report to Royal Castle. Hi, Sicily Sama, Shin Sama, Arigato Goze Mashita. In there. I don't know from where but there is a lot of people in there. Amazing. He can save the patient that can't be saved by Sicily Sama. Are you serious? Dot dot what is this? Strong enough to subjugate the devil. Had healing magic that more powerful than Sicily Sama. And then we'll receive Sicily Sama as a bride. Why? Why is this world so unfair? It is like I will be killed by the male's grudge. Ha. Hero Sama is amazing. Hero Sama's soon to be wife. Sicily Sama too is not an ordinary woman. Really suited for each other. Someone. Can someone write the story of those two? Please stop it. Dangerous. In this case, it will become as daunting as grandpa and grandma. I have to stop it here. Oi Shin. Let's go. Until when you will make Swedes's king wait? Just. Just wait a moment. Just this one. I must crush this story. No. You can't. I had give you considerable time. Let's go. Wait. Wait. Tony and Julius hold both sides. I got dragged to leave that place. Not good. You should not tell the story. BFT. Don't worry about it. Shin. Gu. Gus. Somehow Gus want to prevent me. The story has already been raised. Talked. In Earlshide. It seems to publish if more episodes gathered. No way. It is too late. It is a lie. How easy it is to become a story. You better give up. Shin because my family is also looking forward to publishing the book, isn't it? A, mine too. My house, too. My family too, they were saying that they are looking forward to it. Forgive me, Wolford Kun, mine too. Because we are also get in the Wolford's story. I think that all family members of our research society are looking forward to it. What a thing. Not only did we embarrass the world by team name, but also the stories. Dot. I cannot walk anymore. It, it is alright, because you guys are looking favorably for Shin. Dot. It mean that my story with Sicily too will be known to the world, you know? Ha. Huh. A, about that. Sicily turned red. Let's give up like Merlin Dono and Melinda Dono. The world wants to listen to the hero's story, you cannot stop it. Really? Don't worry, it is my responsibility to provide with accurate information. I thought so. This guy. Because since I came to the kingdom we always together, I thought absolutely the information provider was Gus, somehow. Is there any way to stop it? We have the draft of volume 1 already done, so I will publish something next, but can't we do it with this thing, this time story? There is nothing that I can do anymore. So there is something that can't be done by Shin Han too, isn't it your fault? Really? Really this guy? Otto, let's stop the fuss here. We have arrived at the royal castle, Ulshide Kingdom's crown prince, Augusto von Ulshide. I want to report to the Swedes king. Can I see him? We had been waiting your arrival Augusto. His highness had been waiting. Please come here. Well, let's go in Shin. Re-remember this. What a cliche villain speech. Gus that laughing happily is odious. Listening to the voices of the people seems to be obligations of the royal family, but... 
there is something that you must listen first. I got to the royal castle to report this case to the Swedes king. While still taking damage from the story a while ago, I was walking in the royal castle of the Swedes kingdom. Shin, don't make such a tired face. Whose fault is it, eh? Whose? Don't say such things like that Marida Dono. Well, the citizens wish to read your stories. You better give up and just become the entertainer. The royalty will join too, you know. I don't need your money. That being said, the price for the communication tools and the defensive magic tools, this time you're also awarded by the royalty, right? What? I'm so envious of Shinkan. Then would you like to switch, Alice? Well, being exposed in the kingdom is a little. It is like that after all. That aside, if a hero who had subjugated devils wears such a face, everyone will be worried. You should put on a brave front even if it's forced. Dot. Even though 99% of it was caused by Ha ha ha, oops, it seems we've arrived You cheater I'd like to pursue Gus but since we've arrived, I can't anymore The soldier who guided us seemed perplexed for some reason When the soldier knocked on the door of the office, a middle-aged man's voice was heard from the inside, giving permission for us to enter the room Inside the room was a man with a stout build with a brown moustache and a grey hair sitting on a chair. There was also a blonde man wearing an armour on his side and an old man who seemed to be a civil officer. It's been a long time, King Suido. Oh, your highness Augustus. The stout man seems to be the king. When he rose from his seat, the king grasped Gus's hand and gave a word of thanks. This time I had great support from Merlshide Kingdom. If not for the communication device, if not for the defensive magic tool preventing the devil's attacks, and if not for your highness, this Swede's kingdom might have gone to dust. Really thank you very much. No, devils are a threat to the world. It is only a natural thing to do as a person living in this world. Nevertheless, it is a fact that you protected the Swedes kingdom. I thank you once again. Please also tell his majesty that I want to give my thanks to him directly. Understood. While looking at King Suido and Gus exchange, the blonde soldier at the side who refrained from talking, asked, By the way, who is this Shin Wolford who built that defensive magic tool? Ah, uh, I or I am. What ash I does you? Oh, it is you. Because of your defensive tools we were able to defend this country. I also heard because of the tool. The damage done to my subordinates are minimal. Allow me to thank you. He thanked me. But, no, we should have come earlier. You guys came fast enough. T.O. be honest, your speed is unimaginable. It is luxurious and cruel to expect more than this. Dot thank you. I say that, but, there are few people who died after all. It might be arrogance. But it leaves a thorn in my heart. Which child is Cicely von Claude San, I wonder. Ah, yes, I am. What ash I does you? The civilian officer who refrained from talking also called out. I heard that the lives of many residents were saved thanks to you. Really thank you. No, there are people I could not save. Saving everything is impossible. You did your best within the range of your abilities and saved more people than any other doctors. Thank you. Let me thank you on behalf of the residents. Saying that, he bowed his head deeply. Tha that is, please raise your head. Claude San, please allow me to also thank you. Such thing, your majesty. That's not good. There seems to be some people who call Claude San as a saint in the streets. Who, is that so? That, that's a problem. Sicily is at a loss for being called a saint. Ho ho. Speaking of which, Claude San is engaged to Walford Kun. Since you have soon to be husband, then you can no longer be a saint. How do you know that? The civil officer replied. It is an engagement from a foreign country with one side who is not a noble. How do you not know? You seem as though you don't know your value. That's right. He just so doesn't know how great he is. Hey, Gus. Such a thing was spoken by Gus. You're receiving attention not only in Earlshide but in every other country. What kind of actions you take, who you associate with, and whom will you engage with is all monitored. The truth is, I also want to marry my daughter to you. The top royalties among other things, please pardon me. Well, I could not do so with the declaration of King Earlshide. Was that the declaration for the kingdom of Earlshide? It is the same thing. Even if it is a declaration for the country, taking that and applying a wedding from a foreign country. You're alienated of taking advantage of it not only from Ulshide but also in other countries. Is that so? It's serious in various ways. Therefore, with the communication device, I was contacted by the ambassador in the kingdom of Ulshide that you were engaged. Yeah, 
I see, I was wondering how you knew even though I just got the engagement party undergone yesterday. That's a good thing. I'm now negotiating if I could get some more device with the Earlshide Kingdom. Of course I will pay both the charges and the communication fee. More money is coming in. There's no use of it. Well, I know the things between you guys. As for your engagement, is it not because you two love each other and not because it was imposed? Is is that so? Congratulations. I'll give you my blessing. Thank you very much. I have received the blessing from King Suido. I am in such a blessed mood, but we didn't came here to be blessed. King Suido, I'm sorry to cut our talk in the middle but there are things I need to report this time. If it's a report, shouldn't the soldiers on site coming up with it? What I would like to report is about the ringleader of the devils, Oliver Shkdram. In Gus words, the three people on Swedes Kingdom's side became tense. Although the devils made a surprise attack. No demons accompanied them. I heard that. And, Shkdram did not participate in this attack. What? The ringleader did not. The ringleader wasn't here to attack a country. Also, demons become a big force to an average person. Nevertheless, the devils are a grave threat to the common people. We have the power to oppose the devils. Pardon my rudeness. But it is not so in your country. But when you think about it, it is not a strange thing. Indeed it is not a strange thing. However, Gus looked at my face and continued talking. Shin here, cornered Shkdram, the ringleader of the devils. Shkdram who schemed the fall of the kingdom and empire. I don't think he would ignore the big threat of Shin's existence. Certainly. So Shin and I thought this was a faint operation and hurriedly went back to Earlshide. You went back to Earlshide. Ugh, through gate. Er. Uh, Shin can use transitional magic. But it can only go to certain places. What? Transition magic? Certain place? Oh, did you set up a point in Earlshide? I bent over some facts delicately. I can't possibly say I can go to places I've been to once, right? And I'm in the king's office now. Yeah, I thought it was a faint operation to attack Earlshide but the fact that your highness crown prince is here means that there was no surprise attack. Yep. That's the least thing I understand. If we did not interfere, then Swede's kingdom would surely have fault to those devils. However, will Shkdrum think of such a thing when we didn't interfere, when we wouldn't launch a surprise attack? Will you not plan the attack strategy including that? That's why I thought that this raid was a feint and Earlshide was the real target. Thus, this monotonous raid was all of the devil's actions. What on earth does this mean? I don't understand it at all. In other words, you don't understand the devil's intention. And can't feel at ease at this surprise attack. Is that what you're saying? That's the case. This attack may not be the end and that it is safe to say there will be another. So we should not relax our vigilance until we know what Shkdrom is thinking. Silence reigned the king's office at the actions of the devils because we had no idea what it meant at all. Also, if possible, we would like each country to unite and establish a cooperative front. Will you agree to this? That's right. This matter is too heavy to hold in only one country. While we are at it, Swedes Kingdom will participate in this union. Thank you very much. King Suido promised cooperation. It will be necessary to put forward a talk about the union with the other countries from now on. I think that if we unite together, we will be able to cut out speculation of Shkdram. I also have to do my best. I'm thinking of having a summit meeting with the leaders of other countries soon. I'll contact you as soon as it's decided. I'll thank you in advance. Understood. I'll be waiting for your call. That is all for the report. Well then, we will be leaving. Thank you for the valuable information as well as the reinforcements this time. We will also be reporting periodically with the communication device. It is as convenient as expected. I also want you to say that to your majesty. I understand. In that way, we left the king's office. Something. Isn't it a big deal? Maria who felt uneasiness about the previous exchange muttered so. It's not unreasonable to think so. Since we don't understand Shkdrom's intention, we must act and take all possibilities into consideration. For that reason, it is best to unite as one like Gus said earlier, World Alliance, or something like that. What an exaggerated talk. Including that, we will discuss it after going back to Earlshide. Shin, I entrust it to you. Dot yeah, it's gate. Right? That sort of joke, it would be okay if that was not the case all the time. I connected the gate to the usual guard room in Earlshide and everyone passed through. Then, oh, your highness and the others are back. Welcome back. Ultimate magicians. Welcome back. Many guard soldiers are waiting, applauding all at once. Wow, that startled me. Alice was surprised, 
But I also agree, why did they all gather like this? Welcome back, your highness, his majesty is waiting for you. Oh, I understand. That aside, what kind of fuss is this? This, just a while ago we received a report that your highness has repelled the devils that appeared in Swede's kingdom. Thus vacant people came up with the idea to welcome you. Dot is that so? We also announced it to the people, so the royal capital is thrown into a great uproar. Together with your inauguration your highness crown prince, the celebration will take place in several days. I see, has the report of Swedes kingdom's devil subjugation already been spread? Everybody is excited about the achievement of ultimate magicians, along with the team name. It will be noisy for a while, but it can't be helped. What's more? The team name has already permeated. Yes, everyone's achievement on this unforeseen situation. There may be a conferring of an award. Huh? An award? Us? This has yet again became a terrible thing. That probably will happen. I got a medal just by having subdued a devil. How many did I defeat this time? In addition to that, there is no reason that a medal wouldn't be given in a situation where there was an act to save a country from crises. I feel more relaxed than everyone else as I already been bestowed an award once. That's for later. There is something we have to discuss first now. Everyone, let's go. Yes, with Gus's command, we left the guardroom and entered the royal castle. We get words of blessings and applause from passing by others in the royal palace. You're awesome. Ultimate Magicians, you're splendid your highness. Ultimate Magicians, Ultimate Magicians, along with the repeated calling of the team name. Dot please stop it. She, Shen Kun, get a grip. Leave it alone, Claude. I'm already used to it. Used to? Huh? I feel that such a day will never come. I'm already exhausted before I reached Uncle Dis. Uncle Dis seems to be in the meeting room, not in the throne room. After they received a report from us, it seems they would like to hear the story from all the team members. I heard it from the soldier who went to Uncle Dis to report. We need to report it as well, huh? It's because we're the only ones who confronted the group of devils. Because I'll be reporting it, everyone can just compliment something. Oh, I see, arriving at the meeting room. The soldier in front opened the door. Augusto Sama, older brother. In the meeting room, there were several people from the upper echelons of the country, including Uncle Dis, and among them, for some reason there is also Ellie and Mchan. Immediately after entering the meeting room, Ellie and Mchan rushed towards Gus. Mchan who came to be able to do physical reinforcement magic after her talent for magic bloomed, reached Gus before Ellie. However, it's only by a hair. Older brother, Augusto Sama. Muju. T.L. Sound effects of being hugged suddenly. You guys, why are you here? This is not a place for you to be. Well, is it wrong to worry about my beloved fiancé? I did not say so, but here is the meeting room. It is not a place where an ordinary person should be. Dot I was worried. After hearing that Augusto Sam repelled the devils from Swede's kingdom, I just can't sit still. I permit it. It's worthy of concern after all. Apart from that, what is it, father? M are you okay? A. Ah. Dot you did not notice? M who arrived first by a hair clung to Gus and Delhi clung to Gus afterwards. Naturally, the result became which Mchan who clung earlier was sandwiched between Ellie and Gus. Hang in there. A. A. Elder sister Ellie's chest is a deadly weapon. With those words, her head drooped down. Wait a minute. Murmuring some strange thing and losing consciousness. Not that. Ellie shakes Mchan trying to wake her up. Deadly weapon. It's hard to see from the top of the dress. But is it really that amazing? How tight was that? There's no helping it. It is our team. Though it seemed to have become a touching scene but. Our team seems. How should I say it? Is it over? Sorry to have kept you waiting, father. Two people with me. Roger. Eh? Wait a moment. The reunion ended just like that? I'll come later. Please wait in the room. Just wait. The door is closed with a bang. In the conference room. The reaction of every team member was like. Thank God. Dot Elizabeth Sama the present Coral Duke, right? They likely to have been waiting forever together. No, I've never seen Elizabeth Sama like that. Indeed, it was divided into the people of the upper echelon who were perplexed by the series of exchanges earlier. Fufu, Augusto, M Elizabeth, and everyone involved with Shinkan is lively. That's a good thing. Other than that father, I have a matter to report this time. Dot we can have a little bit more conversation between parent and child. That's for later. Then, it's a report about the attack of the devils this time in Swede's kingdom and its repulsion. Ignoring the depressed Uncle Dis, Gus started his report. 
Please follow it up later. And, made the same report as given to King Suido and the talk concerning the future. I see, will the Swedes kingdom cooperate with the Union? Yes. The countries bordering the empire will also cooperate. The problem is, else liberty trade union and YS sacred nation. Else is a country governed by a merchant who came up from the topic before. YS sacred nation is the main temple of the creation god religion the sole religion in this world. It is a religion that worships the god of creation who is said to have created this world, and if you have enough good deeds, it is said that you can subordinate under the god of creation after death. The god doesn't have a name by the way. There are churches in every country and town, and they undertake ceremonial occasion alone. Y.S. seems to be the name of a clergy who existed in the past, and there is a country like an empire that had plagued the commoners hundreds of years ago struggling in the country to save the people from tyranny, it has been finally executed. After Y.S. execution, the remaining residents rose to action and overthrow the country. The country established later worshipped Y.S. as the founding father of the nation, and the creation god religion took the initiative, and the Pope became the head of the state and has reached to the present. The two countries combined with Erlscheid and the Empire were called the Four Great Powers. Since the Empire is gone, it is now three great powers, and because it's called a great power, will they come to take control of each other? Probably that's the case. Good grief, just when humans need to join hands and cooperate, I'll carry out the correspondence. Your Highness, Gus declared the candidacy to negotiate with Y.S. and Dells. Since I'm also a member of Ultimate Magicians, it will be easy to seize the initiative in negotiations. Dot right, Augusto. Can you do it? Leave it to me. I will lead the negotiations to success for the survival of humanity. Okay. Then, send a messenger to Else and Wise. Prepare the ground of talks for the soon discussion. Ha. Huh. Then excuse us. Ah, uh, I understand. It was bad for everyone having just returned from subjugating devils. Slowly take a rest. Yes, thank you. After saying that, we left the meeting room. Ha. Huh. That was nerve-wracking. Over there was the country leader and the tension really increased my anxiety. Though the one who talked the most was his highness. Still, that place itself is the embodiment of nervousness. I am the city's cafeteria's daughter, I wonder what I'm doing there. Until now, don't you think the situation lacks a sense of reality? Everyone must have been tense, after coming out of the meeting room, they became talkative. That should be it for today. But it seems incredibly noisy on the streets. Father must be planning a parade. A parade? Please, stop that. Just please stop that. That said, we ultimate magicians have already done that. If the people demand it, Father would probably do it. Acting as a team. Isn't that? The team name will be again called repeatedly. That much will probably paralyze you. Isn't that a good opportunity? I'll die of shame before I get used to it. But, but everyone seems happy. And it's not a strange name. Dot thank you. Sicily is gentle after all. A. Eh. Uh, I patted Sicily's head who healed my deteriorating mind. Ha. Ah, I've calmed down a little. Q. This idiotic couple. Getting cozy everywhere. Dot the eyes full of hatred coming from Maria hurts my eyes. Lo. Look. This time Maria may become famous and might have an encounter. Dot will becoming famous makes you have an encounter? I. I wonder. Ha. Ah, I want a boyfriend too. I am good. Magic is my lover. Rin is like that. Sigh. Sicily and Olivia are enviable. Everyone is cute. Is there no encounter I wonder? Listening such complaints from the girls, we reached Gus's room. Now that I think of it, this is the first time I came to Gus's room. This is my room. Just feel at home. Oi. Let's enter. Right. I heard Mchan's voice from the inside. Looks like she's waiting in Gus's room after having left the room. And when we entered the room, Ellie and Chan welcomed us. Welcome back, Augusto-sama. Welcome back, older brother. Oh, you did not jump this time. Have you learned your lesson last time? I did not expect to pass out. And when I came to, I was already on older brother's bed. Ah, uh, did I not apologize for it many times? Elder sister Ellie, older brother is glad that I am safe, right? So don't worry about it. Th thank you. But elder sister Ellie's breast is a deadly weapon. Dangerous. That. Stop saying weird things. Certainly. Ellie's chest is a deadly weapon. Dangerous. Mugo? T.L. Sound FX? Please stop it. Ellie got along well with the women too. Is it because they entered the hot spring together? Leave that thing aside. We have serious matter to discuss. Wait Augusto-sama. Leaving how mean. Oh, 
everyone is here. Also Ellie, aren't you ashamed in front of everyone? Dot that, that's right. Embarrassing everyone, is what you intend to do? Let me tell you, it's not like you've imagined. It's only you who flirts on public. Ah, do you flirt that much? Is it not normal with your girlfriend? Dot that's not the case. We're not flirting. It's fearful. Mosaic is needed as expected. Why? We have here a reju. But a royal reju at that. You. I have nothing to say. Maria's darkness seems deep. More importantly, don't you have some matters to discuss? Ah, Shin has a request. I see. I also have a request to ask. Ho? Oh, that is, I want to visit each country. Dot don't you agree? I understand it well. My request is exactly that. In this regard, I also want you to take me along. Laying groundwork on each country. That's it. Anyway, our next objective has been decided. The training camp is suspended for the time being, and going around each country to connect a gate is the priority. Because the communication device seems to be spreading rapidly. I want to be able to rush as soon as I receive a report of a devil's appearance. There will be no regret this time. Dot you understand each other without saying anything. It is doubtful after all. Like I said, why did it come to that? 